you special. Nothing can hold you back anymore. That means if the enemy, he bought you already, the enemy cannot say, oh, we still have the record. So he took the record away completely. So that when the enemy comes tomorrow and say, oh, there is a record. When the enemy goes there, there is no such record anymore. 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 He blotted it out completely. He blotted it out completely. Somebody shout hallelujah. When the enemy brings any record of anything against you, you tell him that Jesus blotted it out already. He never existed. Somebody shout a big amen. amen. The fourth reason why Jesus died for us is to obtain eternal redemption for all who believed in him. To obtain eternal redemption for all who believe in him. Somebody say, yeah. For all. For all. Hebrews chapter 9. Hebrews chapter 9. To obtain eternal, eternal redemption for all who believe in him. Hebrews 9 verse 11 and 12. Hebrews chapter 9. 11 and 12. But Christ being come, Christ being come and high priest of good things to come, by a greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands, that is to say, not of this building, neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood, he entered in one. He entered in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. Through his blood, he obtained for us eternal redemption. That means we are, eternal means everlasting. Eternal means forever. He obtained it for us. So we are reconciled for, for life. That is to say, because of this eternal redemption, it's not a temporary redemption. Is eternal redemption. Because of the eternal redemption, we have, if we follow him in truth and the spirit, and live right, and live in purity, and live in holiness, we have a place for us in eternity. Somebody shout amen. amen. That's what he came to do. That's what he came to do. Are we not blessed? Are we not privileged? I can't hear you. Are we not blessed? Are we not privileged? Lift your hands and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He loves me. I can. You know it. Let's sing it. He, he loves, loves me. me. I cannot say why. On Calvary tree, he suffered for me. He loves me. I cannot say why. Oh, he loves me. I cannot say why. He loves me. I cannot say why. Oh, Calvary, he so far. I cannot say why. Oh, yeah. He loves me. I cannot say why. Oh, God, me be. He so far for me. He loves me. I cannot say why. You know, the antenna redemption. At redemption, he bought us from slavery. But when the redemption becomes eternal, it means the slave master he redeems us from will not be able to come back tomorrow and take us again as slaves. So we come into eternal redemption. Lift your hands and shout, I am eternally redeemed. What a love. Thank you, Jesus. Clap for him. Clap for Jesus. 
On Calvary tree he suffered so that we can come into eternal redemption. He said, neither the blood of goats and calves, but his own blood, he entered in once into the holy place. Once and for all. So there is no goat or ram that will be needed anymore for anybody who have sinned to wash their sins. No. He cancelled it once and for all. Thank you, Jesus. The fifth reason. He died for us. The fifth reason is to reconcile us back to God. To reconcile us. Reconciliation. To reconcile us back. To reconcile us back. Somebody shout amen. amen. Reconciliation is when two people are on different sides. And they are now brought back to be together. Not the kind of political reconciliation that today they are in one party, tomorrow they are in different party. Amen. You know, I like history. I think during one of the world during the World War, one of the World War, I don't remember what that World War II or so. But during that World War, it was Christmas Day. And this was the war between, I think, Germany and England. Ah, it's Christmas, it's Christmas. These ones were waving their flag, these ones were waving their flag. So let there be ceasefire, let us reconcile, and then celebrate Christmas. They reconciled, celebrated Christmas together. These ones went into the camp of these ones, drank mineral, ate uh, bread, chicken, whatever they had. Praise God. <laughs> the following day by morning, they started shooting each other. <laughs> Can I hear amen? So they reconciled for Christmas, not even knowing the reason behind Christmas. So they temporarily came together. So reconciliation is when two people that is opposite side come together. When man sinned, The glory of God departed from man. Man was separated from God. And remember how angry God was. In the, if you read the account of Genesis chapter 3, the Bible said God drove the man away from the garden of Eden and said, get out! He drove him away. And he had to pull the cherubim over there. That's God. Eyes, fire, sword all over, all over himself as a celestial being so that no way will Adam find his way to this place anymore but when I carefully studied and observed I discovered that the meaning of Eden is actually God's presence and let me tell you something child of God every time you sin against God you declare independence of your own you don't hear me every time you sin against God you're not depending on God for strength you, because it is sin that drives you away from his presence. Every time you sin against God, you are being rebellious and you are declaring independence. Now look, let me tell you what it means to declare independence in the real sense of it. Not just in the, in the definitive part of it. Not just like uh, the Webster or Longman Dictionary or the Oxford Dictionary will, will do. No, let me show you. Listen. You know, Nigeria once had their colonial master. Correct? They, they once had their colonial master. Now, did they, because they are our colonial masters, they were doing a lot of things, building schools, and all of that. So, if you declare independence today, tomorrow they must leave the country. They must leave. That means you no longer depend on them for anything. So once you declare independence, you also don't have right to go and have, ask for help from whom 
you have declared your independence from. To say, oh, come, we want you to come and build road for us. We want you to come and supply us medication. We want you to come and build airport for us. No, because you are on your own. So you have to fend for yourself. But if you are still connected to them, that means you are dependent on them. So at, when Adam committed sin in the Garden of Eden, what happened? He declared independence. Every time you sin against God, that is rebellion. You declare, your, you declare independence. The glory of God is withdrawn from you. And Jesus said, in the spirit realm, there is no vacancy. If you are not occupied with the glory of God, Satan must definitely occupy you. So it's a dangerous thing to declare independence. Tell your neighbor, say, don't declare independence from your helper. I can't hear you. One time somebody showed me a documentary that in many Western world, once you get to 18, your parents will ask you to go and stay in your own house. How I many of you know what I'm saying? That means go, go, go. You can't be dependent on us anymore. So when you sin, that is that's an act of rebellion. You are declaring independent, and it's a dangerous thing. God cannot help you. So to continually, that's why you must go to God in prayer. Going to God in prayer is a sign that you are humble. It's a sign that you are saying to God. That's why the Bible said in Second I mean in Second Chronicles chapter seven, verse verse fourteen, He said, "If my people that are called by my name shall humble themselves to pray and to fear God, not to do anything that would displease Him, that's the highest level of being humble. Humbleness." That's the highest level. That means you are saying, God, this thing I cannot do it without your help. Every time you go to God, it is independent. I mean, I mean, you are dependent on him. God, I cannot do this without you. Jesus, you know without you, I cannot do it. I need your help. That's why a man like David fought 66 times, never lost any battle. That's why God looked at him one day and said, this man is the man after my own heart. For in everything he does, he calls for the help of God. I will look up to the hill from where cometh my help. My help cometh from the maker of heaven and earth. For he that keepeth Israel will neither sleep nor slumber. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pasture. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wickedness and my, when the enemy come against me, they shall stumble and what? Because the Lord is my salvation. For he that dwelleth in the sacred place of the Mosai shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. He went ahead to say, A thousand shall fall by the side, ten thousand by the right hand, but they shall not come nigh thee. Only with your eyes! Shall you see the downfall of the wicked? Why? Because you have made the Lord thy God. Your refuge. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it. They are safe. Somebody shout hallelujah. I will be dependent to the kingdom system till the day Jesus comes. Kaya Mahaya. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Number six reason why he died for us is to disarm evil. To disarm evil spiritual rulers and authorities. To disarm them. To disarm. Somebody said disarm. I'm going to explain that in a short while. To disarm. I think... I think the military people will understand what it means to disarm. They, those in police force, they will understand what it means to, dis, to disarm. Correct? Now, I think one of the things in the military or in the police force, they say it's better you don't lose your... Like, you, you left... Uh, I, I mean they registered a gun to your name you are going out for a mission they gave you they gave you a rifle 
you are supposed to come back with that rifle. If you don't come back with that rifle, it's a problem. You can be caught martial. That means it's better, in a subtle way, it's better you die than to lose the rifle. Amen. It's better you die than to lose the rifle. So what God did, he disarmed the enemy. Let me show you so you can, un it disarmed the enemy. I will explain for that. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 14. Then we also look at Luke chapter 10 and verse 19. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 14. I mean Galatians chapter 2, 14. Okay, give me Luke 10, 19. When I get it, I'll come back. Where he talked about disarm, he, he, he disarming principalities and powers. He said, Behold, I give unto you power to do what? To tread on serpents and scorpions and over the power of the enemy. And nothing, nothing shall by any means hurt you. Let's take it together. Everybody want to go. Behold. I give unto you power to tread on serpent and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. He's still an enemy. Somewhat a relevant enemy at that. But he said, I have disarmed the enemy. You know what it means to disarm? What makes you think one person, you know you can beat the person very well. The person is holding AK-47. Oh yeah, lie down, lie down. Everybody lie down. And everybody is truly lying down. Amen. Why do you think they are lying down? Come and talk to me now. Huh? So yeah, hey, come on, lie down. You think I'm joking? You're lying down. Everybody is lying down. Because the person is carrying... The person is armed. The person is armed. The person is armed. That's why they call them, there are robbers and there are armed robbers. Correct? There are robbers and there are armed robbers. Armed robbers are those that carry arms. You know, there are robbers like this pickpocket guy you see in some busy places in different parts, right? They can come to you and pick what belongs to you and do what and run away without arm and there are others that will show you arm someone told me how he was robbed in the traffic that everybody people were around in the traffic that their cars were cars were around him cars were behind him left and right front and back and he was being robbed people were not even aware someone was knocking uh the, the glass, the screen. Oh yeah, oh yeah, wind down, wind down, wind down. The next thing the guy just pulled up. He says, See, there's a small boy here. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, wind down, throw down your bag, throw down your phone. Oh yeah, throw it down quickly, throw it down. Don't be smiling though if I see you. <laughs> <laughs> just be smiling you know you don't smile if I come back so the guy carried it and walked gently <laughs> somebody shout amen the only reason why he obeyed was because he was armed am I talking to somebody now because he was armed that's the only reason why And as a result of that, the woman had to give everything. But one of the reasons why Jesus died 
He says, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by enemies hurt you. That means if it's not hurting anymore, the enemy has been disarmed. What does it mean? The reason why the criminal came into your house, one man came into your house, both you and your wife, you were shaking like leaf during the Hamatan season. You were even urinating. The money is there, the money is there. Your wife is running up and down, the children are running head as her. Imagine how your children will look at you tomorrow, daddy and mommy running. <laughs> Are we still together? Now, the only reason why that can happen is because the person is carrying gun. Right? Some dangerous weapons. So when Jesus came, what Jesus do, what Jesus did was to take the AK-47, he took the dagger, he took the matchet, he took the poison, he took everything away. He said, the enemy will still be there. He said, but what makes you fear the enemy have taken away? Ah, I thought you got the message. You, 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 you didn't get this one. So next time a man shows up, the man that showed up in your house two years ago with gone, that made you lost a lot of things, that made you, you were afraid of him, then he shows up again. No gun, nothing. He said, oh God, lie down. Will you lie down? He has been disarmed. Hey! Yay! The enemy is still there, but the enemy has been disarmed. That's why Jesus speaking in Matthew 28, he said, behold, all power in heaven and on earth has been given unto me. They cannot hurt you anymore. Yes, they cannot hurt you. They have been disarmed. I said they have been disarmed. Amen. Jesus made it very clear. We are dealing with a defeated devil. He is already defeated. We should not make him powerful. He's already disarmed. Are you hearing me? No weapon formed against you will prosper. So he came to disarm the enemy. That means if they put juju, whether they tie it and put it in front of your house, it should not harm you because the arms, what should hurt you, has been taken away. Whether they sprinkle it in your place of work, whether they sprinkle it in your office or on your chair, it should not hurt you. The only thing it will do is, is that it can stain your suit or your clothes, but it can uh, hey! it can hurt you. Yes, sir. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. For I and the children God has given unto me. We are for signs and for wonders. Somebody wave your hands and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. That means you come in the morning. They say there is one juju in front of your office. There is one juju in, uh, in the market. Amen. I mean in your office, in your, in your business place. When you come you laugh. Have you seen, do you know that some places, some part of the world... There are people that own that, that that have lion in their house. Come and talk to me, somebody. You know why they can you know why they can play with those lions? There are things that makes lion a lion that they have taken away from the lion. Are you aware? Are you aware? From procedures, some things they've gone through something. So what makes the devil, the arm that the devil was having, that it would have hurt you? He can hurt you, but the things that he has to hurt you with, they are no more there. They are taken away. They are taken away. Yes, Colossians 2.15. He said, having disarmed principalities and powers, he made a public spectacle of them triumphing over them in it. He made a public but he disarmed them. After disarming them, he said, come, come and fight again. They have no weapon to fight anymore. He made a public show of them. Public show, public show. Somebody shout hallelujah. I love the way the Amplified Version puts it. And I also love the way the Message Translation and the New Living Translation. Let's look at those translations. I'm, I'm rounding up already. Probably in the next five, ten minutes, we should be done. Somebody shout amen. amen. When he had disarmed the rulers and authorities, 
those supernatural forces, cosmic powers that operate from the first heaven, those supernatural forces of evil operating against us, he made a public example of them as a beating, as a beating them as captives in his triumphal procession. Having triumphed over them through the cross, he triumphed over them through the cross. He made a public show. It was not hidden. Public show. Public show. Let's see NLT, then we'll go to message. In this way, he disarmed the spiritual rulers and authorities. He shamed them publicly by his victory over them on the cross. Publicly. What gave, what, what, what gave them power before to hurt you, to deal with you? What makes them that when you see them before, you are afraid of them? He took it away from them. The enemy is still there, but what, what the, the weapons, the arms of the enemy have been taken away from them. They're no longer powerful. They're no longer powerful. Hey, hey, hey. Somebody talk to me. He said, look at how message puts it. He stripped all the spiritual tyrants. <laughs> hey! He stripped all the spiritual tyrants in the universe of their sham authority. At the cross, I marched them naked. True He stripped all the spiritual tyrants, not some, not some, not few, not one, not two, not fifty, not one thousand, all. That means even if they put something on your way that when you cross it, something will happen. Because you know who you are. It's important to know who you are in Christ Jesus. That's why it says, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Not because Satan is powerful. He wants you to know who you are in Christ Jesus. He wants you to know. Don't present the devil as a powerful devil anymore. He's a, he's a powerless devil. That's what Jesus did before Jesus left. So nobody should ever present the devil like a powerful one. But the devil only becomes powerful in your life because your level of revelation light is small the level of the word of God in you is small or nothing your level of prayer you, you are not prayerful you don't have a prayer you don't have a prayer life you don't have a prayer altar your altar is not on fire because the strength of the devil over your life, over a place, over a territory, depends on the prayerlessness of the person or the people or the family. Hallelujah. Give Jesus a big clap offering, somebody. Amen. Lastly, the seventh reason Jesus died for us is to become our sympathetic high priest and helper. To become our sympathetic high priest and helper. He had compassion on us. He sympathizes with us. That's why he says he will go. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 15, and verse 16. He said, For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities. So he understands what we go through, he understands our struggles because he's been through this space before. When you say, I am hungry, Jesus understands it. Let me finish. But we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities. 
but was was in all points tempted like as we are yet without sin verse 16 let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need is our sympathetic high priest and our helper and our helper and our helper are you sure you are getting this at all let's read it one one more time verse 15 let's go back verse 15 then we come to 16 can we go one to go but we have not an high priest which cannot be touched now hold on but we have not an high priest which cannot be touched it's not just one demon somewhere one altar somewhere like the one the bible would describe when 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 the gods of the man-made gods have been mocked he said the gods of other nations they are the works of men they have, they have eyes they cannot see they have mouth they cannot speak they have ears they cannot hear they have legs they cannot work he said and they that make them shall become like them so they don't have feelings if you put them here if you put one in this position in 50 years it still remains in that position if you move them from here to another place, it still remains. Imagine this kind of God. That one day Jacob came. I mean, uh, Laban pursued Jacob and his wives. When he finally had overtaken them, he began to search in their camp. He said, what, what pains me is not only that you liquidated my house, my economy. He said, you also carried my God. May I not serve a God that can be stolen? can you serve a God? How are you the talk that kind of thing? What are you looking for? What are you looking for? Uh, something is, I'm looking for, you are scared. What are you looking for, sir? I'm looking for my God. They stole my God. If your God, if your God can be stolen, then you are in problem. You are not safe. You are not safe. You are not safe. I dare you to steal my God. Hallelujah. So he said, for we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities, but was in all, in all points, tempted like as we are, yet without sin. You know what it means? Jesus understands whatever you are going through. Jesus has seen, seen pain. He walked through this earth, remember? So don't just think that God is up there. He does not understand what is going on. So that's why God is not coming to... No, he understands everything. There is no pain you're going through that Jesus did not experience full time. He was betrayed. He was denied. He was disappointed. He was hungry at a point. He was very hungry that he was expecting to eat from the fig tree, to get at least a fruit from the fig tree. He did not see and he became angry. That's to show you the level of the hunger. The Bible said Jesus cursed the fig tree. Can you imagine that? Our master, our Lord, Lord means owner, was hungry. Then was expecting a fig tree to, you know, to get something from it. He didn't get anything. He said, you, for this thing you just do me. You see what you do me so? Not be only me, you go down. Not be only me. No, no man, <laughs> no man will ever eat out of you anymore. The Bible said late, while they were passing some hours later, it was his disciples that called his attention to say that fig tree has dried up. So when you say, Lord, I am hungry and you are a covenant child, he will make a means for your supply. Because he knows what it means. If you are clapping, clap better, clap well. Am I preaching good tonight? Somebody shout amen. amen. You must know this. Remember, you crying is not a new thing. He cried too. The Bible said Jesus wept. Two times the Bible recorded that Jesus, Jesus wept. 
One was at the grave of Lazarus. The other one was when he entered into a city. The Bible said Jesus wept because of that city. You remember? So he too they cry. Some things touches him that makes him to cry. So he knows our feelings. So he's become sympathetic with us. As a result, he knew what it is. You say, oh, the landlord is embarrassing me. The bank is embarrassing me. I'm under financial pressure. One time they were under financial pressure. That's why I had to come as a man. So that you don't say he's just a God that operates in the spirit realm. He doesn't understand what we go through in the physical. No, he knows what you go through. If you call upon him, you have to call upon him. Jeremiah 33 and verse 3. He said, call upon me and I will answer you. It's, it's conditional. He doesn't just answer you because you have a problem. He will answer you because you are a covenant person. He will answer you because you call upon him. Then he comes to show you great and mighty things which you know not. He went through financial pressure. There was a time they came to a place and they were heading for a crusade. And they, 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 um, the tax masters, they blocked them. They said, you're not going anywhere. You have to pay. You have to pay. Pay your tax. And the disciples were saying, why are they asking us to pay? Jesus said, bring me the coin. They gave it to him. They said, whose inscription is here? He said, they said, Caesar. He said, give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. And what, unfortunately, people misunderstand that, especially people that want to have foolish and stupid traditional excuses. They was after all, they say, give to Caesar what belongs. He didn't say, give to devil. No. He's saying, be responsible. Tax or tribute. Somebody shout, amen. Amen. So when they were pitting him, forsaking, he was rejected. Eloi, Eloi, Lama Sabatana. Why have you forsaken me? So you are not the first to be disappointed. You are not the first to go through rejection. He's been through it. He did not care what he was suffering because he saw the glory that is ahead of him. Can you see the glory that is ahead of you? Can you see the glory that is ahead of you? There is a glory that is ahead of you. There is a glory that is ahead of you. Amen. You will come through it. You will come out of it. Amen. Because there is a high priest standing for you. Somebody shout amen. Amen. So as a result of that, well, he said, let us come. Let us appear boldly. Go back to Hebrews 4 and 16. Let us therefore appear boldly because we have a high priest. And he has entered a place, the holies of holies that was forbidden, once and for all, so that everybody can have access. I can show you over a hundred scriptures in the Bible. That's why in those days, they don't have the spirit dwelling in them. The spirit only comes upon them as occasion with demand. It's different from us. We carry the Holy Ghost everywhere we go. We carry the Holy Ghost. That's why it says our body is a temple where the Holy Ghost dwells. That's the reason why you have to be careful what you do with the body, with the building where the Holy Ghost dwells. You can't mess up in the body because the spirit will leave. Somebody shout amen. This is important. Stand to your feet, everybody. So you can dare fall approaching with boldness not coming before his presence intimidated the only thing that can make a person afraid of the presence of God is sin but when you have all this there is something going on you go to him. He said, let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. So there is a high priest that is sympathetic to our situation, to whatever we go through. So whenever we are going through whatever we are going through, we approach him not as beggars, not as outsiders, not as foreigners, 
for as men as people as children of the kingdom we enjoy the benefits of the kingdom so we approach it with boldness where we obtain mercy and then where we call for help is our helper is our helper so part of the reason why I died is that you may always obtain mercy that you may always obtain help I pray for you by the death of Jesus before his resurrection receive help in the name of Jesus Amen. receive help in the name of Jesus Amen. receive help in the name of Jesus Amen. receive help I don't know the area you need help I don't know the area you are looking for help I don't know the area you are seeking for mercy but mercy will speak for you Amen. I don't know the area you are believing God for help I don't know the area you are believing God for mercy. Maybe you have done something you are not supposed to do. You are calling for mercy. You are saying, Lord, I am your son. I am your daughter. I am a citizen of your kingdom. I am sorry, Lord. I come before you to obtain mercy. Like David was saying in Psalm 51 verse 1. Have mercy upon me. Have mercy, Lord, upon me. Show me mercy. According to the multitude of the tender mercy. The steadfastness of the Lord never ceases. And his mercies never come to an end. The Bible said they are new. Everyone, every morning. So every morning you wake up, it's a time for mercy again. His mercies are revealed. Receive mercy. Amen. Receive mercy. Amen. Lift up your hands and say, Lord. Lord. I receive mercy. I receive mercy. I can't hear you. Say, Lord. Lord. I receive mercy. I receive mercy. Say, Lord. Lord. I receive mercy. I receive mercy. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lift up your hands. I want to pray. Close your eyes. Receive mercy. Amen. Receive mercy. Amen. Receive mercy. Amen. Mercy over your father's house. Amen. Over your mother's house. Amen. Over your children. Amen. Whatever handwriting of the enemy is blotted, is blotted away, is cancelled. Amen. So now, can't receive mercy in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let mercy speak for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lift up your beautiful hands. I want to pray. He said that we may come boldly to him. I want to pray for someone that will come boldly to Jesus and say, I'm a sinner, my sympathetic high priest. Show me mercy by your compassion. I am sorry. I need your mercy. I've sinned against you. I am sorry. I want to repent. I want to give my life to Jesus Christ. Lord, I am not at peace with you. I want to make peace with you tonight. I want to make peace with you this midnight. Leave your seat. You want to say yes to Jesus. Leave your seat. Come forward. I want to pray with you. I want to pray with you. You want to give your life to Jesus. Leave your seat. Come forward. It doesn't matter where you are. You want to give your life to Jesus. You want to make peace with him. Leave your seat. Come forward right now. I'm waiting for you. He paid the debt. He did not owe. Leave your seat and come forward. Hold the debt. I could not pay. I needed someone. The worst my sins away. Now I can sing. A brand new song, amazing grace. Lord Jesus, pay the debt that I could If I were you, I will not. I, I, I will not miss this opportunity. You want to. You want to come before Him and say, Lord, I am sorry. Forgive me. Show me mercy. I come to obtain mercy before you. If you are coming, I want you to come forward quickly. Leave your seat. Don't look at anybody. It's between you. Thank God we have a high priest. 
that is sympathetic mm -hmm. with our situation. He walked behind me and crossed before me. He walked behind me and crossed before me. He walked all over the world wherever you are watching from distance is not a barrier it's between you and God with boldness with trembling at the same time come before him wherever you are watching from distance is not a barrier all of you stretch forth your hand those of you here repeat after me Say, dear Jesus. Please, I, I want to hear your voice. Say, dear Jesus. Come into my life. Be my Lord. And my Savior. Forgive my sins. I repent of my sins. Forgive me. Wash me with your precious blood. Take my name away from the book of death. Put my name into the book of life. I will never follow Satan again. I will follow Jesus all the days of my life. Amen. I pray for you that mercy will speak for you. It will hold you strong. It will envelop you in his grace and in his mercies that you will not go back to your vomit anymore. In Jesus' mighty name. Listen, I want to follow you up. I want to be praying for you. Just very quickly, I want you to go to my right. There are people waiting to see you just for two minutes. You join us. Please go that way. In two minutes, you join us again. Please just move. Go that way. You made my life so beautiful.
my sin, my guilt, my shame, and for the love. Raise your voice, Lord. Raise your voice. Until Jesus came, there was ignorance of about something. They understand that there were wicked powers, operations, but they never knew the dimensions, the systems, how they operate. It was Jesus that came and was talking about strong man. It was Jesus that was making reference to a strong man. He said, when a strong man keeps his goods, they are safe. He said, but when a stronger than him shall come, disarm him and take his goods, they will no longer be saved. The battles many people go through is the battle of the strong man. The strong man. We're going to pray now. Some of you, the strong man are strong men around you. When I'm talking about a strong man, I'm talking. Jesus was talking about the real personality, the real power, the real deal behind your battle. And Jacob said the other day, he said, God has delivered me from the hand of the one who was stronger than me. The hand of the one that is stronger than you, that have kept you at the same point, that have relegated you, that have stagnated you, that have had you, had your marriage, had your children, they will let you go. Amen. Lift up your hands. 
Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the authority of the resurrected Jesus. By the authority of the resurrected Jesus. You strong man. You strong man. You strong man. You strong man. Of my family. Of my family. Of my father's house. Of my father's house. Of my household. Of my household. You strong man. You strong man. Behind my battle. Behind my battle. Behind my predicament. Behind my predicament. What are you waiting? For. What are you waiting be for? Arrested. Be arrested. Be arrested. I'm this arm. By fire. By fire. Clap your hands and pray, somebody. Pero pose capa. Erre kenteripa. Se perendo se capa. Vasa karaga nabo. E pero kota. Rakaya tete. Arokondo. E paradoso. Rakataranto. E pero koa. Every strong man. Every strong woman, every strong personality that we not let us go. Rakayado, we are wrestling, we are wrestling, we are wrestling, we are wrestling, we are wrestling. Be arrested by fire. Be arrested by fire. You strong man of my father's house. You strong man of my mother's house. Oh, I'm 
The strong man will let you go. Remember. I want to share something with you so that you will pray. Hmm. There's mystery in this world. The enemy is disarmed, but if you don't know how to war, do you know somebody that came to attack you with gun before? Maybe five years ago, and say, lie down, otherwise, and everybody lay down. And meanwhile, the person has been disarmed. If the person comes next time, if you are not careful, if you are still ignorant, the person so the person did his hand like this. Correct? And never brings anything out. Do you know it's possible you are going to be shaking the same way? Because when the Bible says we are not ignorant of the devices. The sound, but still have devices. That is strategy. They know I used to have gone. They know I used to have AK-47. But now we go there. I will pretend as if I have a gun. That's why the Bible said it's going about like a roar, like a roaring lion. Not that it's a lion. Like a roaring lion taking for whom he may devour. He didn't say it's going about. Take note of this. Devouring everybody. Mm -hmm. He's going about seeking for those that will fall. Those that don't know. Those that are still ignorant. Those that don't have enough lights. That when he comes and you say, Hey, stop there. Come on, you stop there. He will find his way. And the Bible says, You shall resist the devil. He said, Again and again, he will come, resist him. In the morning, resist him. By day, resist him. By night, resist him. Somebody shout amen. Amen. Before we pray for releasing the goose in, this, in, the, in the store of the strong man, he says goose are saved. Do you know what goose are? If you are a Bible student, you, will, you would have understood, understood this, that the goose we're talking about here Jesus, this would enlighten you the more. John 10, 10, Jesus said the devil came, but not to kill, to steal, and to what? Destroy. He came to kill, to steal, and to destroy. Jesus said, yes, if I allow only him, there will be a problem in the world. He said, I've also come that you might have life, and have it more in abundance. So he kills anything that have life, he steals anything that have future. He kills, he steals, he destroys. Your greatness is in his warehouse. That's what Jesus is talking about. Some of you, what will make you great? He, he stole it. He kept, in, he kept it in his warehouse. Some of you, your children, your settlement, your greatness, your finances, he kept it. But there is something I want to talk to you that we need to pray. Recently, I ministered to a woman and I discovered that during the time I was prophesying to her, she was crying. And this is what happened. She came from outside of Lagos. And part of the ministration is that you lost your husband mysteriously, and you also lost the only son you have. And she just had two girls. So, after the service, I was meeting with some people. The woman, the woman came. So the Lord said to me, 
He said, the things I heard here, I never heard it before. I never knew that there are dimensions of wickedness, operations of the enemies. My eyes are open. I will go back to replicate the same thing. And then, that was the day we did the anointing, either two or three Sundays ago. So she went back home and began to pray like the way she saw us praying here. With the instruction I gave to her, I said, go back home, pray. And while you are praying, the enemy in your house, behind your battles, will be exposed and unmasked. Look at what happened. They went to the house. They were praying. The days of the fasting and prayer. It was just the woman and her two daughters. But they have this housemaid, a lady that has lived with them since she was young. She's lived with them for about 12 years plus or so. So whilst they were praying, the woman brought out the prophetic oil she called here and took the oil, anointed herself, sprinkled it into her mouth and did the same with her daughters. So she took the oil to sprinkle on that, that their housemaid that has always been gentle, quiet, good girl. Everyone known as good. She said, don't try it. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me with that thing. Don't, I'm warning you. Don't. All of a sudden, this same girl that is calm became like a lioness, like a tigress. Warning the woman, don't touch me with that. Don't touch me. If you touch me, you will see what you are looking for. Ah. At first, the woman was surprised because she hasn't had such kind of experience apart from coming here to see those kind of manifestation. She was, fear came upon her at first. She said, no, someone called it. The girl says, I you to touch me. Let me pack my things and go. The woman said, it's either you allow me to anoint you with this prophetic oil or you pack your things and go. He said, I'm ready. Yes, I will go. I'll pack my things and go. She went inside her room and began to gather her things to run. But a voice, that's the spirit of God, spoke to the woman and said, go into that room, pour the oil on her. As she entered into the room, sprinkled the oil on the lady. It was like all hair was let loose. It was scattering everywhere and shouting, ah, before I go, I will confess. I will confess. I'm the one that killed your son. I'm the one that killed your husband. Yeah, before I go, I want to let you know that these your two daughters have also initiated them. So that place you went to that they told you these things to come and do, you better take your two daughters to that place. What's that? There's wickedness. So when they say come and pray that's why I look at some people I know why they are the way they are they have chance only on Sunday <laughs> Jesus said man shall not live by bread alone you can have money but they are, they are destroying you the housemaid you employed you are working with she is calm but she's killing your husband and your son. She's the witch. And such kind of powers when they are in your home, they will never allow you to respond in the right way. Probably they are the one feeding you, cooking for you, lacing it with all manner of things. That was how the lady ran out of the house with her bag, starting fire, running to cross a car hit her. She died at the spot. I want to pray for you tonight. Any, you know, you know the problem. When the woman was narrating this, I said to her, I told her from what the Lord showed me. 
I said, that lady has been in your house. If you people pray, the lady will be mocking your prayers. There are many of you who are praying, but powers are mocking your prayers. You are going to pray with me. Every power, every power, mocking my prayers, mocking my prayer. Every power, every power. Every altar, every altar, every personality, every personality, mocking my prayer, mocking my prayer, die, die, by fire, by fire, die, 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 pray, 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 pray. Shabata kata, iyo kapati kata, erakata pana ta,
lift up your hand. Say you power. You power. Lift up your right hand. Say you power. You power. You power. You power. Mark in my prayers. Mark in my prayer. Fall down by fire. Fall down by fire. You power. You power. Mark in my prayer. Mark in my prayer. Fall down and die. Fall down and die. You power. You power. Mark in my prayer. Mark in my prayer. Fall down. Fall down. Fall down. Fall down. By fire! By fire! By fire! By fire! Lift up your hands. Uh -huh. Close your eyes. Lift up your hands. Close your eyes. Lift up. Just lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Close your eyes. Shh. Be silent. You powers that mock prayers. You power them up their prayers. You power them up their prayers. The Lord is against you. Now, manifest yourself and die. Manifest yourself and die. Manifest yourself and die. Manifest yourself and die! <laughs> Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Say, oh, you power. Oh, you power. Oh, you power. Oh, you powers. Blocking the manifestation of my glory. Blocking the manifestation of my glory. Blocking the manifestation of my testimonies. Blocking the manifestation of my testimony. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Clap your hands and scatter them now. Separate the sokapa. Eruke parako. Scatter by fire. 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 Scatter. Fire! 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 
and the person and the witch that took your matter or the man or woman that took your matter to that coven let them confess and die right now Amen. listen I want you to pray keba holaba shalabadi abada akaragomo ragomo sevede madakwanta badia Lift up your hands. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say by fire, by fire. By fire, by fire. Any cover. Any cover. Any altar. Any altar. Where they reported my matter. Where they reported my matter. Right now. Right now. Where their meeting is going on. Where the meeting is going on. By fire. By fire. I scatter them. I scatter them. I scatter them. I scatter them. I break out. I break out. Oh, you witch. Oh, you witch. You strong man. You strong, you strong man. woman. You strong from woman. your altar. From the altar. From your cover. From the cover. I command you. I command you. Manifest. Manifest. Let me go. Let me go. Die. Die. By fire. By fire. Break. Yeah. Break. Yeah. Break. 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 Fire, 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 fire,
I want you to I want you to make this command with all your strength and the power of God in you. Say all oh, you witch. All oh, you witch. All oh, you wizard. All oh, you wizard. All oh, you wallow. All oh, you wallow. Sitting on my case. Sitting on my case. In your cover. In your cover. In your meeting place. In your meeting place. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? I command you. I command you. Manifest now. Manifest now. Let me go. Let me go. Manifest now. Manifest now. Let me go. Let me go. May the fire of the Holy Ghost. May the fire of the Holy Ghost. Collide with you. Collide with you. Lift up your hands. Uh -huh. Lift up your hands. Close your eyes. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Or shall help them. Or shall help them. Or shall help them. Or shall help them. I see the fire of the Holy Ghost colliding with powers, colliding with witches. Yes, the one sitting on your case, the one that have your case. Yes, they are letting you go. They are letting you go. They are letting you go. Arako Mandia Jaquanate Ebri Kamande Zekotoyaba. I see 26 case file. They're put in the coven. The Lord said that means there are 27 26 of you. The enemy reported your case to the coven. Right now, their meeting is going on. I summon them. I summon them. I remove your case file from there. Yes, let that woman go. Let that man go. Let that boy go. Yes. I withdraw their curse. Let them go and discharge them up with them by the power of the Holy Ghost. Mom! Yes, yes. Let that boy go. Let that girl go. Yes. Let that man go. Yes. Let that woman go. You witch. You wizard. Yes. You warlord. Yes. That has the curse. Let them go. The power Let them go. The girl. Let them go. Let them go. Let them go. Let them go. Lose them now. Yes. Yes. Let them go. Let them go. Let them go. Lose the power. Lose the girl. Lose the man. Lose the woman. You witch. You wizard. Yes. Yes. You warlord. Let them go. Let them go. Let them go. Now, yes, now, yes, now, yes, now, yes, let it go, 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 Yes, 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 Let's <laughs> go. 
Just lift up your beautiful hands. Wherever you are watching, the witch that have your case, they have been summoned from the coven. They are letting you go. Amen. If you continue to respond like that, your case will continue to remain there. <laughs> lift up your hands. Uh -huh. You stubborn witch. You strong, stubborn witch. Be summer. Still sitting on the head of that woman. Be summer. Sitting on the womb of that woman. Be summer. Sitting on the glory of that man. Be summer. Sitting on the glory of that child. Be summer. Sitting on the glory and the destiny of that child. I summon you. Yes. I summon you. Yes. Get up and let them go. Yes. I yes. summon you from your cover. Yes. I yes. stop the meeting now. Yes. I yes. stop the meeting now. I, fire. I stop the meeting now. I, fire. I remove your case file. Yes. Let all of them go. Yes. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Let yes. them go. Let them go. Yes. Let yes. them go. Let them go. Yes. 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 Fire, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Everywhere now. Yes, yes, I yes. deploy. Yes. I deploy. Yes. The fire. Yes. And the ministry. Yes. Of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Lose that woman. By fire. Lose that boy. By fire. Get up from their head. Yes. Get up from their glory. Yes. Lose that woman. By fire. Lose their children. By fire. Lose that lady. By fire. Lose her mother. 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 By fire. You witch. Yes, yes. Get out. Yes, yes. You witch. Yes. In the cover. Yes. I put fire Bisabha. you which fly around Bisabha. you can't escape yes I yes. stop you by fire I stop you by fire I fire them by fire yes yes fire them by fire yes yes fire them by fire 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 by fire 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 by fire 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 by fire 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 Yes, 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 yes. You must let them go. Yes. Please lift up your hands. Just do that. You must let them go. Amen. 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 You wait in the house. Yes. You wait in their house. Be you wait in their business. Be you wait inside the compound. Be Living with them. Yes. I summon you now. By fire. I summon you now. By fire. Get off from their matter. Yes. Let them go. Yes. Manifest by fire. Yes. Manifest by fire. Fire. Let fire fall. Yes. Upon the altar. Fire. Upon the cover. Fire. And the Count of five. Yes. Anyone on that uh -huh. hold of witchcraft. Uh -huh. Anyone that a witch uh -huh. is sitting on their case. Yes, yes. Escape right now. Yes, yes. Lose that young man. Uh -huh. Lose that man. By fire. Lose that boy. By fire. Lose that woman. Yes. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes. By the count of five. Yes. One. Fire. Two. Fire. Three. Fire. Four. Fire. 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 Say every belly, every belly 
that swallowed my destiny that swallowed my destiny that swallowed my inheritance that swallowed my inheritance any power any power any altar any altar any strong man any strong man any strong woman any strong woman any power any power that swallowed that swallowed my destiny my destiny my inheritance my inheritance my portion my portion what are you waiting for what are you waiting for vomited by fire vomited by fire by fire Vomited by fire, 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 for me, 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 my greatness, my destiny, my baby, my money, my greatness, my destiny, my career, my husband, my wife, my money, my visa, my car, my house, for me, for me, for me, for me, for me. Swallowed your destiny, your inheritance, and your portion. From it, let it burst open now. Amen. Let it burst open in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let it burst open by fire. Amen. You will let them go. 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 Amen. Lift your hands. I want to do something very quickly. I want to summon right here any power or personality behind your battle. Uh -huh. From wherever they are hiding, oh, yes. the fire of the Holy Ghost smokes them out. Amen. I don't like the way you are saying that, Amen. Lift up your hands. Shout Jesus seven times. One to go. Jesus. 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 Jesus, 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 Jesus. Yes. 
Lift up your hands. You witch. The have a hand over the battle or situation of anyone here or anyone watching wherever you are by fire I smoke you out now right now uh -huh. by fire I break your resistance now in the name of Jesus right now Lift up your hands. Oh, yeah, manifest yourself. You can't, you can't hide anymore. Let fire begin to fall. Let yes. fire begin to fall. Let fire begin to fall. Yes. Let fire begin to fall. Yes. Let fire begin to fall. Yes. You can't stay anymore. Yes. Yes. You witch. You yes. strong man. Yes. You strong woman. Yes. You strong man. And if I disarm you, and if I lose that woman. Yes. Lose that boy. Yes. Lose that girl. Yes. Anyone you are holding back. Yes. Lose them now. Yes. I summon you. I summon you. Yes. I summon you. Yes. From your hiding place. Yes. Manifest by yes. fire. Yeah. Yes. By fire. Yeah. 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 Yes. Manifest. Now, yes, yes. Now, yes, 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 yes. All shall help them, bring them, bring them out, bring them out. Yes. Your family deity, Manifest. your family deity Manifest. that has been fighting, yes. that has been doing them dirty. Manifest. In the name of Jesus, yes. I command you, your family deity, your family deity, yes, yes. your family strong man, yes. your family strong woman. Yes. I break your resistance. Lose that family. Yes. 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 yes. Your powers from the regions of the water. Fire. Let, that, let it go. Fire. Let that woman go. Fire. I put fire. fire. I put fire, fire, 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 let all of them yes, go. Yes, yes, yes. Right now, yes. by the power of the Holy Ghost, yes. by the power of the Holy Ghost, yes. manifest and go. Yes, 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 yes. You witch, by you wizard, yes. you warlord, responsible let the go. for their battle, let the go. wherever you are, be summoned, be summoned, be summoned from your hiding place, yes. from that cover, from that shroud, from that road junction, from that graveyard, in the forest, manifest, yes, yes. manifest. We smoke you out. We smoke you out. We smoke you out. By fire. We smoke you out. We smoke you out. Manifest. 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 Now. Now. Lift up your hands. We came to pray. Yes. yes, sir. No power that has been harassing and embarrassing you will survive tonight. Atomic power. Banika wana mande. Aha. Bafira kaka guaya paya. Repeat this after me. Lift up your hands. 
The Lord, the Lord, the Lord just said, He said, pray concerning this. Lift up your hands, everybody. Say, every witchcraft seed, every witchcraft seed, every serpent, every serpent in my bloodline, in my bloodline, in my foundation, in my foundation, from Estana, from my from the internal from internal behind my battle behind my battle all you wish crap seed all you wish crap seed all you serpent all you serpent behind my battle behind my battle what are you waiting for what are you waiting for die 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 by fire die by, die by fire 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 die by fire
This marks the reign of the strong man in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lift up your hand. Uh -huh. I see strong powers, forces falling down. Amen. And I see people rising like as if they are descending. The Lord said, I bring them from the dimension of the wicked. I take them to the dimensions of their next level. Amen. Of your next level. Amen. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. I see angels go to covenant altars and regions of waters. I see people being released and delivered from power. Amen. Two things more the Lord asked me to do. I promise you by five, I will drop the microphone. Hope that's not too far. <laughs> Lift up your hands. I see houses. I see businesses. I see families entered by angels. And I see where they uprooted charms and different things. <laughs> Lift up your hands, please. Please, you will soon sit down. But when you come to when you come to night VG, you know it's a prayer we came to do. No time to wait for prophecy. No. You have to deal with some things. By the time you leave here, you know that you really came to pray. When I see some of you struggling, sleeping, sitting down, sleeping, I know you don't actually do vigil. I do it every day. I know you don't pray <laughs> when you are struggling. There are 23 persons and 23 families. I see charms that has charms that have kept them for different things, different dimensions. I see it uprooted by fire. Amen. Lift up your hands. I see 23 families. I'm seeing charms being uprooted. Amen. Uprooted, uprooted. Lift up your hands. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered in another Amen. Amen. Angels on assignment that I saw uprooting those charms. I want physical reaction of what is being done in the spirit. As it is in heaven, let it be so here. Amen. As it's going on in the spirit, let it be happening the same way. Amen. Those 23 persons, families, banned by charms, is expired tonight. Amen. Yes, begin to uproot it. The angels are uprooting it. They are putting it. They are putting it. All shall help them. There are certain of them. As that thing is being uprooted again in the practical, they will not be able to stand. It is family deliverance. People are being released. I see about 23 people. I see 23 families. That time, that time prepared that you will not have children, that you will not marry, that you will not progress, that you will not complete that project, that your children will not be useful. It's been uprooted. It's been uprooted. That charm that they did that you will not marry, that you will not go forward. It's been uprooted. It's been uprooted. Yes, Lord, I see 23 of them. Where are the angels? I put all of them at the same time. By the power of the Holy Ghost, by my left, by my right, at the middle, those watching, I put it now. 23 of them. Where are the angels on assignment? Where are the angels of family deliverance? He has located the one in the regions of the waters, the one on the on the in the fourth junction, the one at the compound, the one at the uncompleted building, the one by the tree, the one on that graveyard, the one in the forest, the one they tied, the one they used to lock their business, they used to lock their finances. Now nah! approach them now. The power of God. By your angels, move!
carry them, carry them. That time is expired. The one they bury in the business place, holding your finances. The one they bury in that uncompleted building. Let it be scattered now. Let it be uprooted. Let it be uprooted. Let it be uprooted. Let it be uprooted. Release that family. Release that woman. Release that Abba Ayana Akaba Radokapaya. The one by that tree, by the orange tree, by the plantain tree, the one by the palm tree, the one by the cashew, the one that put in the forest, in the field, in the road junction, in the market square. Catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, or put them, or put them everywhere, 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 everywhere. Lord, by your power, by your angels, now, by the power and the ministry of the Holy Ghost, all the family, all the Individuals that are bound and their representative lose be uprooted, lose be uprooted, lose be uprooted, lose be uprooted, lose be uprooted. Every of them, every of them, every of them, the power of the Holy Ghost everywhere. Oh, come on, where are you? Are you cutting that woman? Cutting that boy? Cutting that guy? Uproot that juju. Let it catch fire. Let that juju catch fire. 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 Power of the Holy Ghost. Ah! Hosanna. Yes, I can. Upon your not raising, baby, baby, of my destiny the angels are signed with me in this night 
carry the other two persons from the powers holding them that is resisting them carry them bring them to the altar practically carry them carry them uproot 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 yes by the blood of jesus i cancel the one the one the blood the human blood they use in preparing the charm resisting them let it break let it be uprooted right now 23 papa said to me he said we are going to pray he said the month of April he said everything the enemy has wasted in your life and your wasted years he says I will restore it back to you sevenfold I'm telling you the month of April will make sense. <laughs> April will make sense, seriously. Way back. Everything you have lost or everything the enemy has wasted in your hands, your finances, it will come back to you sevenfold. Way back. Lift up your hands. Let me teach you what to do. So bele kema so tala badi kamasa. Ajo pripi sivra saba kabuda lagada. Kabi esita kule rolo. Mazo kodo lo kodo yaba. Everybody, take up a sacrifice in your hand. And pray this prayer as you pray, you come forward. Take it up. Everybody, take up a sacrifice. Pastor, let me help you. Lift it up. Say by fire. By fire. Say, oh Lord. Oh Lord. I can't hear you. Say, oh Lord. Oh Lord. By your power. By your power. Restore me back. Restore me back. On every side. On every side. With an evidential restoration. With an evidential restoration. Restore me by fire. Open your mouth and pray like that. As you pray, come forward to the altar. Restore me by fire. Restore my glory. Restore my finances. Restore my home. Restore my marriage. Restore me. Restore me. Restore me. Restore me. Restore me.
fire. We worship you today. Yes. You are the unconsumed fire. Uh -huh. Come and manifest. Prophesy for the next one hour. Say prophesy. Prophesy, Papa. You are generational. You are prophetic. You are apostolic. Your name is Papa, Prince of Power. Asima we ready to anoint him. 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 Asima we ready about four or five years. About four or five years. A child. Emmanuel. Yes, a child. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. About four or five years. Five years, sir. Five, Emmanuel. Five, five. How old? Emmanuel, five years, sir. The spirit keep pulling me to that side. Look at me. I was trying to go to another direction to deliver the message, but the spirit kept pulling me to this side. Then I was asking the Lord why. He said, pray for Emmanuel. I saw a spirit came and took Emmanuel from a hand and was walking away with Emmanuel. And the Lord said, pray. Immediately, the Lord carried me. I blocked the power and I took Emmanuel. The Lord said, the power, something is supposed to happen. But the Lord said, because you came. Aha. The satanic surprise is canceled. Amen. Come, two of you. The Lord said, pray for two of them. Lift up your hand. Is Emmanuel the last? Or is the first, sir? The first. Yes, sir. You say the first? Yes, sir. The first also. Yes, sir. The first. But I just saw the Emmanuel crying before you. I asked the Lord what happened. The Lord showed me. He said, this boy, last week, around on Monday last week, the boy was sleeping and all of a sudden, like he just woke up, like something happened. Like he, he, he was crying out of the dream. Yes, sir. I asked the Lord what happened. The Lord said, what was supposed to take place had already been concluded since on Monday. What is supposed to happen is manifestation. But the Lord said, because you came. He said, the plan of the wicked is about Amen. For seven days from now, you will anoint that boy every night before he goes to sleep. The barrier is canceled. Amen. Pack. Settle. Come, young man. Lift up your hands. Emmanuel is secure. Nothing will go wrong. Amen, sir. I see, I see, I see the hand of the Lord open something before you. When I ask the Lord, what, what actually is this? But I see in the prophetic, he said, what the enemy has locked in your family, that people of greatness will not enter into their major greatness. Here is what the Lord is saying this morning. He said, I use you to reach your mother's children. From now, they will come into dimensions of greatness. Amen. Come here. No time to waste. No time to waste. Power. Why? I, I see somebody, your surname is something like Arrow. Arrow or Arrow. Your surname is something like Arrow. Whether it's your surname or something like Arrow. Is there anyone? Is it your surname? Yes, sir. Arrow. What? Huh? Yes, sir. Arrow. Yes, sir. I don't know. I, I, I was living that side, but the Lord was still pulling me there. I want to deliver this message. In one hour, I will be done. Listen carefully. 
Where's your husband? He's here. Where's the husband of this woman? I want to pray for you. Come. Is that you? You are the husband. Yes, sir. Do you, do you know what is going on? Do you know? No. You don't know? Yes, Father. Who is it to you? My son. Huh? My son. Your son. In the realms of the prophetic, the Lord showed me something. I've entered a place. And I see a compound. And I saw they were mentioning that name. But amongst the compound, about two minutes, not far from the compound, like the same compound, there is also a house I see. But the house looks like an uncompleted building in the prophetic. I'm seeing it in your father's house. But like two minutes away from your father's house. I'm asking what is going on. The Lord showed me. I see a strong man entered into the family and took something. Then I saw the strong man went to the uncompleted building and I was asking what happened. The Lord said they went to plant the greatness of people. If you watch out financially, there has been a lot of battles that you've been going yes, through. Yes, Papa. Every time you are to have a major breakthrough or money is coming, you will just have this strange dream. You will see yes, yourself Papa. in the village in the dream. Yes, Papa. Once that happened, the Lord said it is because of what the enemy did. I saw an angel of the Lord went with me to that place. I saw what the enemy planted against you. The Lord said you were among those that what the enemy program uprooted tonight. Yes, man. Hear me. In the month of April, your finances will make sense. Amen. Come here. I confirm your deliverance. Jesus. Breakfast. Come here. Park. Let them go. Let them go. Follow them no more. Amen. The charm is expired. Amen. Come to us. Jesus. Deliver. Jesus. Park. Power. Thank you, Jesus. You are delivered. That man that has that muffler on his neck, come here. I can stand here and prophesy to many people as I am commanded. Lift up your hand. In the prophetic, I'm seeing your feet. You know what in the local parlance they say, poto poto? Yes, sir. I see your feet inside. Are you the first son? No, sir. Are you the first son? No, sir. Are you the first son? No, sir. Where is the first son? It's in Abuja, sir. Huh? It's in Abuja, sir. In Abuja? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you, but the Lord said, before you pull him out, he said, pray for the first son. There is something going on because in the prophetic, your father, I'm talking about your father. Yes, sir. I see they push him into a pit. Yes, and sir. the Lord said, I should pray. He said, they also want to push the first son into the pit. Where's your father? My father is dead. He's dead. Yes, sir. They push him into the pit. The Lord showed me, said, the first son, they want to push the first son into the pit. Because I want to pray. The Lord said, that one is easy. He said, but pray for the first son. He said, the way they push your father into the pit, the same way. I'm seeing this thing. I call it pit, but it's a grave. Yes, sir. I'm talking in parable. Yes, sir. I saw they are pushing the first son inside also. The yes. Lord said, I should pray. Because I see in the month of May, something is going to happen. But the Lord said, because you came here, uh -huh. I cancel it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The barrier will not hold. Amen. Where's your wife? Your husband and wife, yes, come sir. here. What you are saying, God bless us with children. Yes, sir. Give us a baby boy. Yes, Give sir. us a baby boy. Yes, sir. How many you have? None, sir. You don't have any. Yes, sir. From now, you begin to have. Amen. I see the first one come as a boy. I see a girl. I see a boy. Because I'm seeing three yes, sir. that will come yes, sir. one after the other. Yes, sir. Three. Put your right hand over your womb. Come here. That place you are, you, that place you are standing. Like what they call potter potter, like yes, sir. clay. Yes, sir. The Lord said it represents your progress. Yes, you sir. try to go forward, but that position is pulling you back. Yes, sir. Financially, there have been a lot of battles. Yes, sir. Because you are the one that will come as the light of the family. Yes, sir. Because there's prophecies towards concerning that. 
that you will be the one that will stand as the light of the family. Yes, sir. This morning I put my hands on you. Uh -huh. What the enemy have resisted, I break it now. Amen. Manifest your glory. The mighty name of Jesus. Come here. Three. In the name of standard, in the name of Jesus. Let the manifestation begin. Lose a womb in the name of Jesus. I release the hand of God. 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 Lose her, that which is given to her. Three, I confirm three now. At the count of three, I reconfirm it again. In the name of Jesus. One, two, three. There shall be performance from now. It's settled. If your amen be the loudest, it will happen for you. Lift up your hands. You came with them. Come here. The Lord answer you and restore you. Amen. Come here. The Lord said the reproach over your marriage yes, is removed. Amen. Come Power. On. Jesus. Park. Settle. Jesus comes. This man wearing red. Come. Who is Juliet? Juliet, Aro, Aro, or Aro, something. The Lord just mentioned that name for me. You know, some people, the enemy can take them to go and be sleeping. Yes, sir. I've seen it many times. It shows you that what is holding them, even in their place of deliverance, they will not let them go. Strong. Come here, sir. Lift up your hands. I want to pray for you. I'm seeing the Lord restoring you. Amen. There are things the enemy has taken from you. Yes, I see a lot of things you have lost. I see the Lord restoring you. There is Amen. an oil of restoration. This Amen. barrier will not hold. Hold on. I saw someone put in a coffin and the Lord said, rescue her. I'm seeing a coffin. They are putting a woman. They wrote on the coffin. I'm seeing something like Maria, 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 Maria. I, I, I hear something like Idehe or something. Idehe. 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 Maria Idehe. Is there anyone by that? Don't waste my time. Don't waste my time. Is there anyone by that name? I just saw it. I saw they are putting the person in the coffin. I saw they are put. Please lift up your right hand and let us pray. When the enemy wants to destroy people, he can even make them sleep. Where's your wife, sir? She's in Barcelona. I'm seeing the Lord restoring you. Amen. The Lord, the Lord showed me, said, the enemy tampered with a lot of things concerning you. Yeah. But I'm seeing the Lord restoring it. Because Amen. before now, in the realms of the prophetic, I see something uprooted in your father's house. Amen. Most of the time you had encounter like always going back to the village in your dream. You yeah. wake up, you don't have understanding. You're right, sir. There is a call of God on your head, but the enemy resisted the manifestation. Right. What, what do you do now? What do you do? I'm a businessman. You are a businessman. Yeah. There's a call of God on your head because I'm seeing call to finance the kingdom. But the enemy is resisting you because you have seen money before. You climb up, they pull you down. You climb up, they pull you You're down. Right, sir. The Lord says, I am restoring you back. Amen. Because I see the altar through a strong man of your father's house that has been resisting you for a long time. But this is the word of the Lord. He says, everything the enemy tampered with in your life, I restore them back. Amen. Come here. Jesus, let him go. I restore you. Amen. You will see it turn around. Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. The way you are saying amen is not good. Whatever will not let you go, we go for your sake. Amen. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. I'm seeing something. Ah. Jesus. I see this. How are you, sir? Come. Are you coming for the first time? You came with somebody? Yeah, with my wife. Where's your wife? Come here. Lift up your hands, sir. Woman, I'm praying for your husband, but the Lord said pray for the both of them. Because in the realms of the prophetic, 
I see contention going on in the, in the spirit realm. The Lord said, pray for their health. The Lord said, pray also for their children. Because I see your children, where they covered all of them. Where are they? They are at some, sir. They covered all of them. I'm asking the Lord. The Lord said, the enemy covered the glory of your children. The Lord said, release it so that they will come into their inheritance. Because a lot of things are going on. Yes, a lot sir. of things are going on. Yes, sir. But the Lord is bringing you out of this battle. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. There's an arrow they projected concerning your health. Yes, sir. Because I see all of a sudden you started taking medication. Yes, sir. All of a sudden. The yes, Lord sir. said, the enemy projected this and is going to begin to manifest. I'm asking what happened. The Lord took me. He said, from your from the father of your father there was an altar they worship in the family yes sir. the altar fought everybody there was a time the altar was killing people mysteriously yes, and that altar is fighting your progress because i see you climbing a ladder as you climb they pull you down exactly, and sir. the thing has covered your children hear the word of the lord uh -huh. today i set your family free amen power i release you i release your children in the mighty name of jesus let Power. Him. Jesus. This woman, come here. Lift up your hand. You will not cry. Amen. You will not cry. Amen. I see you crying. I see you crying. I see you crying. Be very prayerful. Let the Lord reverse this. Where's your husband? He's late, sir. I see you crying. You will not cry. Amen. Because in the prophetic, I'm seeing your husband. He's dead was mysterious. Yes, sir. Not a normal, not a natural death. Yes, sir. They killed him. I see somebody being taken away. You were crying and refused to be consoled. I was asking the Lord why. The Lord said, she came here already. Let the barrier be cancelled. Amen. Where is the one who stands as your first son? I have three. Yes, sir. The one that stands as the first son. I see that one is taken away. Mm. Because this is three girls you have. Yes, sir. But when the first son appeared, they took the first son away mysteriously. Because that is supposed to be the only boy that you have. But something happened. You were pregnant. As soon as it was discovered that is a boy you were carrying, around three months and two weeks, the thing lost mysteriously. Yes, before, sir. That was supposed to be the third one. And you lost that one before the third one that came. The Lord said, this battle has been on, but you will not cry again. Amen. Every arrow of death is cancelled in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Come here. Lift up your hands. Jesus. Are you, is she your daughter? Yes, sir. Where is the first one? She's in um, Lakey. She's married, sir. Hold on. I see 22 of November. And I see the year 2020. 22nd of November, the year 2020. I'm asking, what is the meaning of this date? The Lord is showing me something. I don't know who, what it represents, but I see something was done. This is a day, and like a marriage took place on the 22nd November 2020. Like marriage took place. Marriage took place. I don't know who that person is, but that was the day you got married and the year you got married. November, 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 November 22nd, the year 2020. I saw the date appeared on an altar. I saw the date appeared on an altar. Is that you? If I were you, I will, I will run. 2020 November. Huh? 2020 November. 2020 November. Come. Come here. There is star of greatness on your head. You are the last born? Yes, sir. You are the last born. Yes, yes, sir. A boy was supposed to come, but that was taken away before she came. Power! Power! Check out. The spirit of death. You will not cry, woman. Amen. I send out from her. Let her go. Follow her no more. I can go. Quickly. Mysterious death. It will come like one chance. One chance. You know what they call one chance? Yes, sir. One chance. One chance. I cancel it. Amen. Power. Come, woman. I 
Are you with her? It's my sister. I was the one that just stopped her. It's you that are talking to. You were the one that did what? Just stop her. That they are calling the date of your Okay, marriage. she no, she did not even she know. Just... <laughs> are you I, I don't know. Are you are you forgetting something? Do you understand something? There are some of them, they are not even aware that God is talking to them. So if you cannot listen to God, I don't know who else you will listen to. Because I will just move ahead and continue to do what God asked me to. I see, you know what, you know what I'm interested? I see that date written on an altar. They wrote it on an altar. Where's your husband? He's at home. Uh, I'm seeing this is like a native doctor. Is there anyone who is a native doctor in their family? He's the father. My Can husband. You talk father. to me. My husband father. Your husband father. Yes. Is a native doctor. Yes. That's a big problem now. I see this date written November 2020. Then I saw 22 written. I was asking the Lord what happened. The Lord showed me. He said, a witch doctor put that date and said, as long as I am, as, as far as I'm concerned, these people will never bear children. Yes, sir. I don't have child at all. You don't have children? At all. You don't have children? I'm having miscarriage. You don't have children? At all. You know, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Even if you take in, they will come and press you in the dream. Exactly. Sometimes a person will appear and flog you. Exactly. They will flog you. I should say it again. Yes. <laughs> Prophesy, Papa. They will appear. They will flog you in your dream. Exactly. Once they flog you in the dream, you are going to have miscarriage. Exactly. The same way your husband is struggling. Exactly. If they don't flog you, they will flog your husband. Exactly. Two of you are having the same encounter. Exactly. In the dream. Exactly. I'm seeing the shrine in Delta State. Yes, sir. I've entered Delta. I've entered a place they call Agbo. Exactly. Do you know Agbo? Yes, sir. Do you know Agbo? That is my place. You are from Agbo. Yes, sir. Even your husband. Yes, sir. This is Agbo. Yes, sir. Who is Victor? Who is Victor? Who is Victor? He's my husband's brother. Your husband's brother? Yes, sir. Something deep is going on in the family. But today, Aha! my God will set you free. Amen. There is a strong battle. And this is what I see going on prophetically. Because I see this is a man. I'm not saying the father is responsible, but he's a native doctor. You know, he said something. This is what he said. Tell him a prophet said so. He said, I saw him when they gave birth to your husband. When your husband was seven days old, he brought your husband to the altar and dedicated your husband. And he said, your husband is to take over from him. Gosh. That your husband is not supposed to marry. If you watch what happened, the day of your marriage, it was battle. They never wanted it to happen. Exactly. Even the traditional marriage took place on a Sunday. That is not supposed to be. The bride price and exactly, everything. Exactly, exactly. On a Sunday. Exactly. Because he never wanted it to happen. Exactly. He said your husband is not supposed to marry. Yeah. That your husband is supposed to be a slave that, was, that takes over from him. Exactly. That I don't know the father of my husband. And uh, you will know now. You will know. You will know. You don't know who they call Stephen. Stephen, that is his, his father's real name. His father's real name? Yes. Stephen. Uh, you know Stephen. <laughs> hey! Make sure you bring your husband tomorrow. You are going to have children. Amen. And no power will take it from you. Amen. Because I see a miracle baby girl given to you. Amen. Then when I look, I saw a boy given to you also. Amen. The Lord said I should speak prophetically to you. That if I enter the altar of the witch doctor. I release your children. Amen. I release the boy. I release the girl. Amen. I break your husband out Amen. of that dedication. I command the altar to catch fire. Amen. Lose this woman. Lose her womb. Lose her womb. Lose her children. You will not torment nor access her anymore. The mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Right now. Mighty name of Jesus. Power. Lose her. Lose her womb. Lose her womb. Let her go. Amen. Be fruitful. Amen. Celebrate Jesus. Come here. Put your right hand on your forehead. This is your husband I see, but this is you I'm seeing walking alone. Pray. Hi. Oh my God. This is serious battle. 
Ha, you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. This is serious battle. But the God I serve will release you from it. Amen. Amen. This man, this man, pray against stroke. Are you not a man? Amen, sir. Or you are a woman? No, sir. Madam, pray against stroke. You are not a man. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Back to sender. Pow! Why is your husband? In Abuja. There is problem. Yeah, we too, we don't agree because of the way things are going in the house. He will walk and nothing is hold coming on, out. Hold on, hold <laughs> on. I see two of you walking, but later I saw you walking alone. Pray. The thing has come to that point. Yes, if we don't I'm, pray right now. I'm tired of this. You are tired already? I, uh, yes, I'm <laughs> tired. I have not tell him, but I'm tired. I'm tired. Okay, you told your sister. Yes. She told you she's tired. Yes, she says so. No. When you pray about Lord yesterday, I know it was me you're talking about. It's too much for me. Today, I removed the load. <laughs> because I saw two of them walking, then I saw her going alone. She's just moving. Everybody, everybody's calling her. She's not answering. She said, I want to go. I pray for you today. It's not the whole, listen, you are trying, but you married a place where there is battle. Yes. Your husband came from a strong family of idolatry. And the altars in the father's house is polygamous in nature. Yes. And that altar vowed that your husband will never have rest or progress in life. That's exactly. the reason why he's struggling, but there is nothing to he show. He struggles. My husband go out every day, but nothing to show out. From today, his story will change. Amen. Go and kneel down on that altar. Kneel down on that altar. After three minutes, go back. Your story will change. Amen. If your amen is loudest, you will see visitation. Come. Lift up your hands. I see the Lord change your garments. Amen. The garment you were wearing before limited you. It's the case of Jacob where his name changed. You are going to encounter something from the month of April. Amen. When you live here. Amen. I'm seeing in the prophetic. I see you standing. I see you holding a Bible. Yes, sir. But I see the enemy removing the Bible from your hand. Be very prayerful. Yes, sir. The enemy is attacking your covenant with God and also your prayer life. Yes, sir. Be very, very prayerful. I see the enemy taking the Bible away. I'm asking the Lord why. He said. The enemy is angry. He said, this is not what we are supposed to, you, what you are supposed to be doing. He said, have you forgotten that you came from a place where there used to be strong altar? Strong altar. My father was altar. a native doctor. That's what I'm saying. Died. Strong altar. He said, this garment is not what it's supposed to be. So the Lord says he's changing the garment. Because in the prophetic, your, your manifestation cannot come. Because the garment you are wearing until it's changed. And that is what the Lord is doing now. Is as a result of the strong altar, native doctor, native doctor picking. Is your father not a native doctor? He is. Strong he was altar. until he died. Uh -huh. You be native doctor picking by implication. And if care is not taking, you were chopping chicken. You know what I mean by chicken? Yes, sir. When they used to bring chicken. When I was small till seven, I was like, I to Did you, you to chop chicken. <laughs> <laughs> so by implication, he ate chicken. So the chicken he ate is still chicken lies in him. Today, I change the garment. Amen. This is a very strong altar fighting you. Come here. They will let you go. Pack. Mighty name of Jesus. Ow. They will let you go. Amen. Whatever will not let you go, will go for your sake. Amen. Lift up your hands, man. Where's your wife? You are the wife? Yes, sir. 
How many children you have? So I have none yet. I see four children given to Amen. you. Amen. Because I see something. Every time two of you, very close to the time of manifestation, a power used to show up. Like when two of you are supposed to come together as a husband and wife. Once that period, especially when your wife is during, uh, there is a... There is something they call it. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? I understand. After that time, nothing can happen. But once that time is over, everything will begin to happen. And even if it happens, she takes in, it will not stay. This battle has been on for a long time. Yes, sir. I see in the prophetic, I see something like a padlock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I saw it in a pot with so much blood. The Lord says sacrifices upon sacrifices have been made again and, and again to make sure that so to make sure you don't have children. Hear the word of the Lord. Uh -huh. By the blood of Jesus, uh, it, it three minutes don't pass now. It's instruction. They're not saying you go to sleep for altar. No. Thank you, Jesus. I'm come. free. My husband is come, free. Come, come, come. Today I break it. The doctor's report is cancelled. Amen. There's a doctor's report. There's a doctor's report. Yes, sir. There's a do I see it. Yes, sir. It's cancelled. Amen. Jesus, I break the first padlock. Amen. I break the second one. Amen. I break the third one. I break the fourth one. I break the fifth one. I break the sixth one. I break the seventh one. Break! Let her carry her miracle baby. Power! How are you, sir? Thank you, Jesus, I'm delivered. Yeah, my wife. You are a witch. Are you the fly now? Now you be the first witch where they don't see. So he be winch. I don't understand. I come and fly. Where's the winch? You must fly today. <laughs> Where's the winch? I come and fly. I fly now. Come, let's test it. Please come. Please. Pray against sugar. Pray against sugar. Okay, sir. And be careful okay, sir. about what had to do with sugar. Okay, sir. Hmm? Are you having experience of it? Not yet. Pray against it. I see this thing manifesting around you. But because you came, the God has have cancel it now. Amen. Stand here. Where's your wife? Come, woman. We cancel this, it will not manifest. Amen. Lift up your hands. But something is fighting you, woman. Look at me. Bad, bad dream. Bad, bad dream. Bad, yes, bad sir. dream. Yes, sir. You wake up most of the time. You don't even remember the dream that yes, you dream. Sir. I'm asking the Lord. He said, a demon, a demon. There is a dedication in your mother's side. That dedication is fighting you. Because okay. I see this power dragging your children with you. Dragging your children with you. Yes, sir. The Lord said I should pray for you because I'm seeing two boys given to you. Hey, thank you, Jesus. How many boys? No. How many boys? I have no, no children at all. And I say, how many boys did two, I see the Lord? Two, two. You don't have anyone? Yes, sir. You're going to have two boys. Amen. That is what the Lord showed Amen. me. Amen. Come here, I confirm it. Pack. Let her go. Power. Come here. Be very careful. Look into that and pray about it. <laughs> Settle. Power. You are their mother. You invited them. Are you invited? It's your first time of coming. Yes, sir. The Lord has answered your prayer. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I'm delivered. Mama, come. I see the Lord remove a load on your head. Amen. Look at me. The enemy is attacking the finances of the family. Yes. Financially. Yes. Sir. I'm seeing the Lord opening door. Amen. So I should tell you that this thing that comes to press you, I see like attack when you sleep at night. It's over. Come out! Power. Somebody shot fire! Fire! Shot fire! Fire! So they say you they fly. 
Huh? Yes, sir. Daddy, I came here last two years. Wait. It, you do the talk, oh. You said they say you the fly. I they talk about the fly. You said last two years you came here. You say you want to come and give testimony. No, so that the witch can't hold the testimony. No, sir. So what happened? I, well, I came to give testimony with my husband. Uh -huh. my daughter, Are you the my, husband? My daughter that was in school, they run out mad when she go for IT. So when they brought her back, uh, this solution and this thing, we get testimony here. Is the, before seven days she was ill. Then my, From the madness. my husband's sister. After you anointed her. Uh, with the after then, when I went back, they did. My, my husband, I, I always come here. Since 10 years, I'll be coming here. Okay. Oba, Oba. So what did they do? what did they not do to you? I cannot see. And they say you are a witch. Yes, they say I'm a witch. I should prove it. Okay, so how do you want to prove it now? I know your God can prove it. It is only your God that can prove it. Come. Come. This is witchcraft. No witchcraft? Yes, sir. This is witchcraft. Okay, sir. But unfortunately, it is the witch that says she's a witch. It's the witch that says she's a witch. Hmm? You have not known rest. Listen to me. You have not known rest up till now. Your family is very bad. It's divided. Divided. I'm supposed to be the of my place. Wait. Your family is very bad. It's divided. Yes, sir. They marry different women. Yes, that is true, sir. But the problem is the confusion. I'm seeing witchcraft. Most of the women they married into the family from your father. Yes, sir. Now which now which is now he married? It's, it's, a very, it's, a, it's known. The place is all of the places. He, he married witch, uh -huh. and the witch they call them as Zen. Uh -huh. yeah, from, from a do state. state. Yes. yes sir. Huh? From, from, from a do state. Uh -huh. As Zen. Because I'm seeing these witches. They are holding you in a dose state. Yes. Somebody came and slapped her in a dream. Yes, yes, it is true. That's how she became blind. It is true. Now, hot slap. Hot slap. Hey. Hey. I'm Musu. As they slap and she wake up, now this battle starts. Yes, that is true. I prophesy now. I will see. I send an angel to slap the witch now. Never. I send an angel to slap the witch. Never. When after this vigil, she's going to sleep like she has never slept before. Amen. Amen, man of God. Because they give her this attack. To sleep is also a problem. Amen. Yes, Battle to sleep is also a problem. Yes, sir. Not amen. I'm talking, you say amen. Yes, sir. It is true. Oba, Woba, say it. Oba, Woba. What's the meaning? King of kings. Uh -huh. By the time she will be sleeping, a major oppression. This is what I'm seeing, I'm telling you. Amen. A major operation is going to take place when Amen. she's sleeping. Amen. Amen, my prophet. And something will happen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Rest power! Pack! Let her go. Amen. Let her go. Let her go. Amen. I command the arrow to go back to the sender. Amen. 
I command the arrow to go back to the sender. Amen. I command the arrow to go back to the sender. Amen. Amen. Pow. Come here. Even financially, the enemy have useless you. No, I'm completely off. If, if I'm not, I'm just like a beggar. I said they have useless you financially. I'm a, but, I'm a cheap little. Hold on, but Oba and Wamba, King of Kings, we restore you. Amen. 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 Come. The battle became much because there's a throne you are supposed to sit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, my prophet. In your village. Yes, sir. You are supposed to be the king. Oh, yes, sir. I hope now. Prophesy, Papa. I want to crown you. Oba hey. Wamba. You know, witches and Ogboni people came together. They said we will trouble him until his last resort will be to come and join us. And if until he joins us, because the next hurdle that you need to cross, they are saying you must join Ogboni. Yes, sir. That you cannot be a king uh, without in a door before without joining. Yes. Then I said the happy case. I want even the happy court. The defeat will give me up to now. Up to now. You don't join Ogboni. No, 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 I'm sir. Not, I'm not. <laughs> I don't go. I don't go join. I don't go join. I don't go join. Don't hey, go. hey. Zam 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 chineke na zamo. Onye ke religue no wa zamo. Onwa Jerusalem ni ne zamo. Isa imo ni onye ka zamo zamo. Zam 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 chineke na zamo. Onye ke religue no wa zamo. Say it again. Oboni, too small. But don't say it oh, if you don't have the kind of backup I have. Because many years ago, in the university, the second year, so one guy just gave his life to Christ. He heard that bishop in the house had preached that God has given you power. You can deal with any power of darkness. And he never grew. Just as people grow in the physical. That's how you also grow in the spirit. You grow. <laughs> you grow. So the guy, he went to challenge his landlord. See, Satan, eh? mm. he went to challenge his landlord. That is one of the one of the head of Uboni. He said, landlord, if you don't give your life to Jesus, you'll be the, the landlord said, is it me you are talking to? He said, you must give your life to Jesus. If you don't give your life to Jesus, you judgment of God. Ah, ah. The landlord said, Kingsley, I'm you they talk to. 
It's okay tonight. We shall we shall see. There's no power in the night. He entered his room, slept, locked his door. When he woke up in the morning, he was on the dustbin. It's true, I'm telling you. True life story. He woke up, found himself on, in the dustbin. He tried to go and enter the door. He could not enter because the, he, he locked it inside. He said, ah, I wake up here. Now inside room a day. <laughs> because the man told him, he said, you, you, think you, are, you, you think you are in the house, sir? Huh? You think you are in the house, sir? <laughs> we shall see. Another day, they, they break the door open. They went to sleep. In the night again, he locked the door. In the morning, with buses, he woke up by the roadside. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So what, what am I saying? The enemy has been disarmed, but you must grow consistently to a certain dimension where you can deal with them and they are too powerless to deal with you. Listen. All the people that gang up against you they will begin to go down one after the other. Amen. Mighty name of Jesus. Power. Give me the oil. Come. It is prophet that makes king. Kneel down. So come ala saviati brandi atamangwa. The Bible said, God spoke to Samuel. He said, Go to the house of Jesse. Anoint me here a king. I legitimize and legalize and I legislate from my office as a prophet and by the authority of the kingdom on my head, I make you the king of your village.
Do you know who is called Anthony? Do you know who is called Anthony? Do you know who is called Anthony? Come, let me help you. Where's your dad? It's late. He didn't tell you who is Anthony in their family. No. Make a call tomorrow. Be in the service tomorrow. There's a deep mystery about Anthony. And it's tied to the battle your family is going through. Are you coming for the first time? Yes. Huh? Yes. Are you coming for the first time? Yes. It's a deep mystery. God wants to resolve it and set you free. What you are looking for is not a problem. It's going to come now. But what is the problem is the battle in your family. There is an Antony in there is an Antony in your father's lineage. And there is something that was done since 1998. And the thing is fighting you. If you if you discover before your father died, they were having a battle that involved a certain land in the family. And when it passed on, something happened. Yes. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Something happened. And this thing that happened is affecting you because I'm seeing you standing, standing, but a strange wind is coming. And I'm seeing that wind is not a wind. The wind is called Anthony. Tomorrow I'm going to talk to you and this mystery will demystify it. Okay. And your family will come into rest. Amen. Because I see you with passports in your hand. Yes. I see you travel abroad. Yes, I've traveled but abroad the, before. Huh? I've traveled abroad before. You travel abroad. Yes. I see you travel abroad, but in the realms of the spirit, I see like somebody carry back, carrying a bag. The wind will come and scatter it. You are supposed to have made so much money, but every time you try to rise, you gather. This wind comes to scatter it until the battle stops. You cannot enter into your inheritance. But this morning, uh -huh. I break you out of the battle. Yeah, man. Come here. Come here. You said you want the baby. Yes, daddy. You said you want the baby. Yes, daddy. That's what you are saying. Yes, daddy. You say all these ones you are saying is not the reason why we came. Yeah. But I'm telling you the reason why you are suffering. One thing is the reason why you came. One thing is the reason why you are suffering. Come here. I will not pray for you. Look at me. If I be a man of God, without yeah. prayer, you'll be pregnant. Amen. Let there be performance. Amen. Let there be performance. Amen. Watch. I won't pray for you. I won't pray. Power. Come here. Let there be restoration. Jesus. Come. Come here, mama. There is something that moves in your body. There is something that moves in your body. It's an arrow the enemy projected. Pack. Jesus. Power. This lady, come here. There's a snake around you. Come. Turn around three times. I see the snake taking something from her womb. Die. Then I go. Mighty name of Jesus. Power. Stand up. I see a snake collecting something from your womb. Where are your children? Come. The snake that is collecting your children is dead. Amen. Come. The name of Jesus. I give you four. There will be manifestation beginning from now. Bow. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands wherever you are. What will not let you go goes for your sake. Come. Jesus. Bring him. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me, sir. Look at me. God is releasing you from where the enemy put you. In the spirit realm, I saw a witchcraft gathering. They locked him in a room. The Lord showed me, said, they put a curse on this man that he will suffer and struggle despite the great destiny that he has. Come here. Hold my hand. I bring you out of that place. Pack. Power. Jesus. Come here. Pray. Physically, you are looking okay, but something is going on. I see your name written. I see your name written. I see like a list. List. Where they are putting names of people. Yes, and I sir. see your name. Pray. I see like where they are sending people to go to somewhere. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They have compiled name. They have sent it to Abuja. Because I'm just... I'm seeing your name. I'm seeing your name in it. You are not aware. I'm not aware, sir. You are not but aware. I used to pray. I pray at the altar that God should... I'm asking you. I see you are used to pray. <laughs> I, I did not say you are not praying. But look at me. 
I see people went to that journey and many did not return back. By the power of God, I remove your name. Amen. Come here. Financially, financially, your pocket is leaking. Yes, sir. Your pocket is it's leaking. True, sir. Like you gather, gather, gather. No way. I see something. You know foul. Eh? Yes, sir. Eh? They will say chicken. They will say foul. You know when he's using his leg to scatter things? I see a demon, like the face of a woman, using its leg. The Lord said, that is how they are scattering things in your life. From today, I release you. Power! What will not let you go? Go for it. Come here. Young man, come here. Look at the person I was, I'm calling. You are standing there. Are you not a man? Are you coming for the first time? Yes, sir. Come here. <laughs> Receive grace. Power! Come on. But come here. Look at me. I'm praying for you. I see something going on. But before I pray for you, I'm seeing a woman fell down and the Lord said I should pray. Where's your mother, please? She's at home. Pray for her. I see her fell down. The Lord said this is an attack. Pray against sudden death concerning your mother because I'm seeing an attack the enemy has projected against her. The Lord said because you came, this barrier is canceled. This man here, come. Come here. Do you know Emmanuel? Do you know Emmanuel? Don't think I'm here. No, no, I don't know Emmanuel, sir. You don't know Emmanuel? No, sir. Where's your father? My father is, is in the village. Which village? Kogi State. Kogi State? Yes, sir. Can you call him on phone now? He can, he can, the number cannot go now. The number cannot go. So get time when number they go for Kogi State. <laughs> <laughs> Kogi, when I were done. I'm just hearing that one. That's a new rabbit. Hear me in the prophetic. I'm seeing your father's family. And I see a strong man by name, Emmanuel. There is something you have been experiencing for a long time. Yes, and you're going to ask your father about it. Because anytime money is coming to your hand, yes, something sir. will happen. Yes, a sir. woman will come and have sex with you in the yes, dream. Sir. Yes, Once sir. Once that thing happens, everything will scatter. It's true, sir. In the realms of the prophetic, I see a man called Emmanuel by a river. And I saw the man mentioning your name, throwing something into the water. That this spirit will follow you. But today I pray for you. The power will let you go. Amen. Come here in the name of Jesus. Park. Let him go. Power. This is your wife. I pray for your mother. The barrier is cancelled. Nothing will go wrong. Amen. Woman, open your hand. Open your hand. I see you carrying a baby in your hand. I see you carrying a baby. Amen. And this is a boy I'm seeing you carrying. Amen. How many children you have? None for now. None for now. But, I... but it has come. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm speaking for now. Because for now, I see a baby boy. Amen. And the name of the boy is Samuel. Amen. Now I see it. Amen. Come here. In the name of Jesus, take. Pack. The mighty name of Jesus. Power. There shall be performance. Amen. Jesus. Go. Settle. Lift up your hands. Whatever will not let you go, that thing will go for your sake. This lady, come. This lady, lift up your hands. Look at me. Come here. Jesus. Jesus, where's your husband? He's in Benin. Yes, you sir. came from Benin? Yes, sir. Begin to dance. God has answered your prayer. Jesus. Congratulations. Congratulations. You will come back with big testimonies. Come here. Look at me. I see a spirit like a skeleton walking out of her. That's the spirit of death. Stand to your feet. Torment her no more. Pack! Jesus. Free. Young man, come here. You came with someone? Is your wife? No. How are you? Fine. You love her? Yes. You love her? How much do you love her? How much. I kiss her. Will you stop that? This is church, my friend. Jesus, I got Are you? The, you are together. Your younger sister. Lift up your hand. Look at me. Be careful. Yes, sir. 
very careful. Okay, sir. How do I say this now so that? Okay, come. I will only confirm. He didn't tell you? No, sir. He just started? Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. You just started? Yes, sir. <laughs> I don't want people to know. Return, I want you to leave that road. Hmm? Okay, sir. The person is not bad, but because of what I'm saying. Okay. Jesus, for your good. Come here. Come. You had a dream. You saw me in the dream. Yes, sir. I was giving you something. Yes, sir. But you could not receive the thing before you wake up from Last the dream. Last week Wednesday. Last week Wednesday. Yes, sir. Did you share the dream with me? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Same. You could not receive it. Yes, sir. Because you wanted to pray that night before going to sleep. I didn't But pray. somehow you just slept off. Yes, sir. You didn't pray. That's why you could not collect it. Yes, sir. Ah. Uh, it's a car key and the baby ball. I saw the key, but before I came to you, you were already going like... I you saw the... Well, which one did you see? I saw the key. You saw the key? Yes, sir. But before I came, it like I delayed, so... You left. Now, because you know, pray that night. So, the angel that was supposed to help you to connect left. So, that's why the Bible said, Pray always. Pray always. I see a car key. That, that key is a car key. There are two keys. The other one is financial open door. We even talked about getting a car this year. You and and it husband. was like that same week that I had that dream. I give you the anointing now. Amen. It's going to manifest now. Amen. And I see a baby boy also giving. Come to us in the name of Jesus. Thank, thank Jesus. Settle. Power. Who is the second? The second. It's late. No, it's late. The woman. Yeah. She's living with a man. Yeah, she's married. Yeah. She's living with a man. Yeah. I see this one. This is second. But I see something going on in the prophetic. I'm asking the Lord. The Lord said, "Tell him to pray. Tell him to talk to the sister. He should pray." She should pray. No. I see something happen to the husband. I don't know. I see like someone went to a place where they are building a house and something happened to him. To pass the message because I'm seeing this as an attack that will paralyze him. Because you came, I cancel it. Amen. What you are saying that you are complaining, you say money, big money does not stay in my hand. Anytime yes. I'm entering yes, major yes. breakthrough, something will happen. Yes. Small break breakthrough is okay. Yes. But if something big is coming, Masquerade must appear to you in the dream. Yes. Once the masquerade shows up, nothing comes again. Yes, the same way the masquerade is dragging this baby boy they just gave your wife. Come here. You want the boy? But masquerade is dragging. This and all of your father's house. They will let you go. Yeah. Park! Mighty name of Jesus. Let him go. Park! Come here. Jesus. I want to prophesy to 30 persons, then we'll go. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. How many people? 30, 30 people. Stand up. Stand up, sir. Look at me. I see the Lord changing your star. I'm seeing something come upon your head. Amen. But in the prophetic, I see a strong hand dragging it with you. The Lord said there have been contention over the greatness. There's greatness. And there's a prophecy that preceded your birth. 
that you will be great. But Amen. I see the enemy has fought that thing again and again. The Lord said, this morning the battle comes to an end. Amen. Amen. Jesus, let him go. Let him go. That man stand up quickly. Are you not a man? Today I make you a woman. Lift up your hand. Look at me. I see you entering a house. Okay. I see you entering a house. Okay. A building. Not okay. I'm prophesying. Say okay. Yes, sir. I'm here you they talk okay. Can you imagine? You say okay. No be that lady. Come. That man on red. At the back. You are looking back. Come here. Lift up your hand. Is your husband here? Where is he? He traveled to Ocean State. God has answered your prayers. Amen. Who did you come with? My daughter. Where is she? Is she the only one? Yes. Is she the only one you have? Yes, sir. Because I'm seeing a battle. That's actually what the Lord asked me to deal with when I called you. You have only this one, but it's been a problem to have another one. Yes, sir. You pray, 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 but no way. But y always yes, you have encounter. Children will appear in your dream. Yes, sir. But for them to manifest is a problem. Yes, sir. Put your two hands over your womb. I see where they are breaking egg every month. First of every month. Look at me. After this prayer, for the next six months, on the first, make sure you fast. Yes, sir. Every first for six months. Yes, sir. Make sure you fast. Yes, sir. And when you break it by 6 p.m., eat fruit. Okay, sir. To have seed. I change the destiny. Amen. Come here. In the name of Jesus, break. Let I go. Mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> Settle. Woman, lift up your hand. Pray. Look at me. Pray against death in your family. You've been dreaming, but all the time you wake up, you don't remember the dream. Because of the arrow of death they send, I cancel it. In the name of Jesus. Settle. Lift up your hands. Where they lock your children, I see them released. Yeah. Your children have greatness. Hold on, man. They have greatness. But I see the enemy lock them. I see they are released. The Lord said, from now, there will be, there will be strange celebration. Hey, man. Come here. Come here. You are trying to cross water. I see you trying to cross. You are carrying something like your inheritance. But powers are resisting you. The Lord said there have been resistance against your marriage. Where's your husband? I don't have, sir. There's been resistance. This is your inheritance. I see you like you are trying to cross a bridge. But powers are resisting you. The Lord said this power has been fighting you for a long time. Most of the time, if you go to a place for prayer, they will say a spiritual husband. Yes, a spiritual sir. husband. Yes, sir. But why have they not dealt with it? It needs to go. Come. Say, let me go. Let me go. Say it again. Let me go. Say it again. Let me go. There's a man before you right now. There's a man. You know what's going on? He comes today, he goes back tomorrow. Disappointment, disappointment. Yes, sir. Until this thing breaks, you can't go anywhere. Let her go. The mighty name of Jesus. Let this lady go. Amen. I break your covenant over her. Amen. Let her go. Amen. Let her go. Amen. At the count of three, I break the resistance and you strong man, leave her and let her go. Amen. One, two, three. Pack! Pack your load and go quickly. Pack! Return no more. Return no more. Return no more. Jesus. Pack. Take out. Lift up your hands. Jesus. Lift up your hands. This man, please come. When I pass through you, the Lord said, pray, pray, pray for him. Look at me. You are asking God to bless you financially because I see a lot of struggles going on. But I'm seeing restoration. The Lord said, pray concerning your health because this is a wind of stroke I see blowing around you. 
I yes, cancel sir. it. You have been having some kind of strange attack. Yes, sir. Especially your, the right side of your body. Yes, sir. They have programmed this thing. Yes. Pack! You came with him? Jesus. Settle. This lady, stand up. Young lady, stand up. Lift up your hand. You too, stand up. Stand, stay where you are. Come. There is a big chain around your womb. God is restoring the finances of the family. Amen. Where are your children? They are sleeping there. They are three girls. No boy. Yes, sir. There's a big chain on your around your womb. That this one will never give birth to male children. The chain is there. Girls can come, but male children will not go. Very big chain. That's what you see in the dream. That's what you see in the dream. Yes, they say boy, boy is their own, girls is my own. Uh, boy is their own, girl is your own. Boy and girl is your own. Amen. Your yeah, MM is very is, is wicked. Come here. How many boys do you want? Three boys, sir. Uh-uh. You get a new cool, big eye, big eye. Sir? One is okay. Oh, okay. Two. One, one, one. Wow. One is two, okay. Sir. Let go, give me two, sir. Huh? Two that they be brothers. Uh, you, go, you go and collect the other one by yourself. Oh. The one they asked me to give you is one. Okay. It's okay, buddy. Huh? Thank you. Thank God. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. One not the okay. I accept it for whatever God offer. Abio, I like your own. <laughs> and your wife will leave a twist. In the name of Jesus, I break the chain. Amen. The witches of your father's house. I vow that this marriage will not have children. I mean, will not be a male children. I broke the spell. Power. Broken in the name of Jesus. You will, I see a baby boy. It's released now. Amen. This man, come here. Dear, dear man. How are you? Where's your wife? Chateau. Why didn't you come with her? I, to come I, I want to see you and your wife tomorrow. Okay. Okay? All right. That man, come. Quickly. Is your friend? What is this? This, they gave it to me. Are you coming for the first time? Yes, come here. Come, young man. You know what they call madness? Yes, sir. Insanity. Yes, sir. Have you experienced it before? No, sir. Have you experienced it? Who came with him? Where's your sister? Is she sleeping? This is your brother? Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. This one is the one carrying the star of the family, but I see the spirit of insanity. It's going to come, it will come, and it will go. I asked why. The Lord said they will not let you be because of what you carry. So much powers fighting in your father's family. As I pray for you, you come out of it. Amen. Come here. Don't be afraid. God is revealing. You are, you are afraid. Don't be afraid. When God reveals to me, he deals with it. Pack! Power. There is power. Jesus. Come here. I see a woman holding your hand and I see two of you walking together. But then I saw a strange person dragging the hand of both of you. Where's your wife? I'm not married yet. Yeah, but there's a lady. There's a lady. I see you, the lady holding your hand. Two of you are moving together. And this is like someone you are looking at like this is marriage or not marriage. Yeah. But pray. I see serious confusion. I see two of you moving. Then I saw a lady came. 
and drag the hand of the two of you. He said, come and do it, let me see. Okay. Friends, see me. Okay. Tomorrow be here. Okay. There is something going on you need to deal with. If not, I see in the area of marriage, serious battle. And when you entered into it, a battle continued. Because a lady says, no, if not me, you will never have peace. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, sir. Not okay. It's a serious matter. Not okay, sir. There's a lady, there's a relationship yeah. right now. Yeah. There's somebody I see, like something happened before. Yeah. But two of you, like, you are not here nor there anymore. Yes, sir. So when I'm talking in parable as a gentleman, yeah. don't say, okay. Because I will say what I'm not supposed to say. Yeah. Huh? You know what I mean? You are right, sir. So tomorrow I will tell you other areas. Okay, Use that one whole body first. <laughs> Young lady, come here. Where's your mother? It's late. Huh? It's late. Mother is late. Yes, sir. Your mother didn't tell you that there is a dedication over your head? No, sir. She didn't tell you? Yes, sir. Ah. Sorry. Come. Lift up your hands. Who is somewhere? Who is somewhere? Who is somewhere? No, this is not a child, an adult, somewhere. This is somewhere, there are three boys in your family. Yes, sir. There are three boys in your family. My mother's side. Huh? My mother's side. Uh uh. My mother born three child. Yeah. Okay, your mother born three boys. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Is it three child or three boys? Three boys, sir. Okay, not be three child. Look at me. You didn't know about what they dedicated her to. So she needs help. You know, people can be going through things they are not aware because they were not told. And with that, that is where the that is where the office of a prophet comes in. God reveals it and helps the person to come out of it. They dedicated her to an altar, and the altar is from her grandmother's side. They worship it. It's a marine altar. Let her go. Take out. What problem do you have with your mother? What problem do you have with your mother? I don't have any issue with her. Huh? Nothing. You don't have problem with her? No. Okay, go and meet her. Ask her, what did you do? How did you offend her? Because I came to Lagos. You said because you came to Lagos? Yes. That's why she's angry with you? Yes. Sorry, yo. <laughs> I don't know why I see something given to you, but I saw your mother stood before you like aggrieved. Like this thing will not happen unless you obey me. Go and meet your mother, make peace with her. If you can. Okay? okay sir. Meet her, make peace with her. Okay, Tell her, sir. please, forgive me, bless me. Don't argue with her. Okay, sir. I don't want to say beyond that. Okay, sir. Let her go. Bring her here. Come here. Come. Look at me. God is disconnecting you from a very wicked spirit. Yes, sir. There's a spirit of death following you. Look at me. You will, you will sleep. You will dream. From one dream, you will enter another one. Yes, sir. From one dream, you, will, you can have about five different dreams before you wake up in the morning. Yes, sir. Let her go. Mighty name of Jesus. Power. Somebody shout fire. Fire. Lift up your hands. Come here. You are somewhere. Yes, sir. You are three boys. Yes, sir. You are somewhere. Yes, sir. 
You are three boys. Yes, sir. You are Samuel. Yes, sir. You are three boys. Yes, sir. Come here. I don't want to waste time. Lift up your hand. I don't want to waste time. But I was praying. The Lord said, pray for Samuel. I saw where three people are standing like boys in the family. The Lord said, the enemy is about to take one away. The Lord said, pray. Let burial be canceled. So I'm going to pray for all of you. Everything the enemy program, let it backfire. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Pack. Jesus. Jesus. Cancel. Go back. Settled. Jesus. Jesus. Why do we have so many people standing? Come here, I call you. Jesus. This is your brother. Do you know where he is? Yes, sir. Where is he? He's on the state. In his prayer. I see him, I see him with somebody. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it working with? They're working with one company there. That's one company in the state today that he's working at. I see him working with somebody. Tell him to be very prayerful. It's you I want to pray for, but when I saw the picture, I saw handcuff in his hand. I see him walking with somebody. Something is going to happen. And I see this like a conspiracy, and they put a chain, like handcuff in his hand. Tell him to be very careful. Let every conspiracy over his life be scattered. Amen. What is fighting your family is very strong. It's an ancient altar, deity. Anybody that tries to rise, the person must go exactly, down. Exactly, sir. Anybody that tries to rise must go down. Exactly, I see sir. everyone in your family banned by this chain. It's an ancient altar. They used to worship idol in your father's family. Yes, sir. Yes, and sir. this idol is fighting you. It's fighting you too Seriously. Much. You Seriously. have prayed and prayed and prayed, but no way. I stretch my hands towards you. Tonight, the battle comes to an end. Amen. Or rather this morning, come here. I break you free. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. I cancel the covenant order. I use him to lose the family. I use him to reach the rest of them. Break! Let him go. Let him go. Thank you, Jesus. We settle the matter. Jesus. Come here. Look at me. You do understand of having dreams. Yes, sir. Seeing a man come to your dream. Yes, sir. Yes, Sometimes sir. you see like you are trying to cross the river. Yes, sir. You see yourself around water. Yes, sir. And you don't know why you are having that. No, sir. They dedicated you. The people from the water, they are fighting you. Yes, sir. That's why you, no matter the good you do for people, they must pay you back with evil. Yes, sir. Yes, and that's sir. why constant disappointment in your life. And I'm surprised that your mother did not tell you. And she's no more. Yes, sir. The mighty name of Jesus. Power. Let her go. Jesus. Come here, young man. You know why I called you out? The Lord said I should pray for you. I see in the spirit realm. Where's your mother? She's a village. Huh? Village. Do you know what's going on with her? She's sick. Do you know what's going on with your mother? No, sir. I want to pray for you, but I'm seeing your mother. She's under attack. Her health. Yes, they sir. sent an arrow to her. Yes, and this thing started, she went to farm. She matched something. Yes, she sir. came back, she has not gotten herself. Yes, She's sir. complaining, especially her left leg. Yes, there sir. is something moving there. It's a poison. If we don't pray, the Lord showed me, said they projected that thing to kill your mother. But because you came, I command the arrow up there to go back to the center. Amen. This is a strong witchcraft spirit. Let me tell you. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Prophesy, Papa. That's where I see it. And that's what I see. Because in the prophetic, they said, no way, they will not let you go. Because I see this is also a strong woman fighting with your mother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. She says, uh, uh, like a spirit who is a stepmother. Yes, sir. Not a stepmother. Yes, I understand. Sir. A spirit. Yes, sir. That is Papa, a stepmother. I, understand. I, understand. I say a spirit. Yes, Papa. That is a stepmother. Not a stepmother. A spirit. Let them go. Mighty name of Jesus. Power. Are you here? Are you here? Yes, sir. Or you want to sleep? No, sir. I'm sleep here. Catch you. No, sir. Say, I'm a man. I'm a man. 
Say, I am happy to be a man. I am happy to be a man. Let the, let the spirit die the death of your mother. Pack. Let him succeed. Power. In Jesus' name. Come here. As I see you entering the house, say Amen. okay. Amen. Amen. Is it, is it keke you want to enter? Uh, not at all, sir. I see you entering keke. Uh, no, sir. I didn't see anything like that. I'm telling you what God showed me. I see you entering the house. Amen. He said, okay. Amen. <laughs> Write it down. It looks like it looks like play. It's not serious, but it's going to happen. Amen. I see a building. This is Amen. a duplex. Amen. This is a duplex. Amen. And I can see the color of the duplex. It's white. Amen. 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 Not long from now, there's going to be manifestation. Amen. But you say, where is the money now? Where is the money? Yeah. Eh? Yes, sir. There is a grace that gives money. From now, I put the grace on you. The mighty name of Jesus. The grace to make money. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Said Pow! Lift up your hand. Come here. Where's your wife? There is a case I want to break. I see a woman said something. She's like a wife. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yes, sir. You are separated? Yes, sir. You are not together? Yes, sir. There's a word spoken by a woman. Get me a prophetic oil. Tomorrow in the service, I will tell you what to do. Okay, sir. Because you are, you are experiencing a lot of battles. Yes, sir. You are experiencing a lot of difficulty. Yes, sir. A woman said something. Okay. Come here. Tomorrow, be here. Come, this lady. Stand to your feet, everybody. Jesus. Young lady, pray. There's something. Are you aware of this thing moving in your body? I do feel lower abdominal pain. That's the only one you know? Yes, sir. It, it came as a movement. They fed you in the dream. And that's how that thing manifested. The Lord said, if we don't pray, there's going to be battle in marriage and children. You got a husband? No, sir. You are going to have. But if we don't deal with this, I see battle having children. I break you free from it. Mighty name of Jesus. Power. Pack. Let her go. Thank you, Jesus. Come here. Put your right hand. Your husband is not around? No, he's in Benin. He came all the way from Benin? Yes, sir. You are going back with your testimonies. Amen. See, there's a mystery that has been going on in the family. Yes, sir. At a certain time, somebody will die. Amen. Okay, may it happen according to what you are thinking in your mind. You hear, you, are you hearing me? Yes, sir. In your husband's family, from the father's side, they used to die. Mysterious death at a certain time. Then I see coming to your husband's side, the family now divided. Some people are this side, some people are this side. Yes, sir. Like where they marry different women. Yes, sir. That's what I mean. Some people are this side, some people are this side. Yes, I'm sir. speaking the way I'm seeing it in the spirit. Yes, sir. Right. But the problem is this, right now. You know what they call Joko? Yes, sir. A strong woman is sitting on it. And that's the glory of your husband. 
There's been battles. Yes, sir. Difficulties. Yes, sir. Difficulties. Yes, sir. But somebody is sitting down on a joko. That's not a joko. That's your husband's head. This morning, uh -huh. let the witch die. Remember. Come here. You want children? How many do you want? Four. Do you agree with your husband? Yes, sir. You know why I ask you to put your hand in your womb? Yes, they tie your womb that this marriage they won't let you have children. That even if you come, it will not stay. But the first one will be a girl. A boy will come. Then a boy will come again. Then a girl will come last. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Power. Come here. Jesus. Siva Balagadayaba. I see you entering plane. Outside. Yes, sir. Then the journey you're embarking on. I'm going to Dubai on Tuesday. I see you traveling and backing yes. on a journey on Tuesday sir but the Lord said pray I saw people sat together and I saw a meeting was going on and the meeting is something that is supposed to favor you but yes, in the spirit realm I saw a demon program ahead of you all of a sudden what is supposed to be the person just said no and that became a problem But four minutes exactly ago, the spirit was sent back. Amen. Hear me? Because of this same spirit, finances has been blocked. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Finance, financially, the things has been blocked. Yes, sir. I see money will be coming. Huge amount. This power will block it. Yes, sir. Strong man. I use him to reach everyone. Amen. Everything that you have been expecting that the enemy blocked. Is there anybody called Sunday around here? Is there anyone called Sunday? Is there anyone called Sunday around here? You are Sunday. Tomorrow is Sunday. Yes, sir. Pass for six to six. Mm -hmm. When you sleep tomorrow, you are going to understand the mystery. Yeah. I, I was in the dream. After the last Sunday instruction, I entered a flight with you. I was just coming down, very happy, coming down from the, 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 the departure lounge like this with my bag. A woman just came to greet me. As I just left my bag, as I just put my bag again, I didn't see the bag again. That's not a woman. But on Sunday, when you finish the fasting by 6 p.m., there's a mystery that will be demystified. Amen. Hmm? Amen. When you finish that prayer, when you are going, you will meet a beggar. Let me describe the beggar so you will know when you meet. Okay. It will not be like a normal beggar, but it's begging. Okay. He will be standing close to a bus stop. He's going to be wearing native, like kaftan. And the kaftan would be like meek color. Okay. He will say, please, at transport, something happened. Even. 
Okay, sir. He's not a normal human being, but give it to him. Okay, sir. You know what? The woman that collected that bag has been collecting a lot of things in your life. So much, so much. Even there have been so much. Some attack. years ago, the problem is moi moi. You know moi moi. I do, I do. Moi moi. Yes. Some years ago, years ago, like somebody went to buy moi moi, and the person is supposed to make payment, but I don't have money. Uh, I don't have change. Go with it. Bring the money later. Okay. Do you remember the incident? I cannot really remember. Moi, 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 moi. I know moi, moi. You know it's a woman. Okay. Mama Sunday. Yeah. She's the one selling the money. Moi, moi. You bought. You gave money. Yes, you were, you were still young. Okay. Many, many times, when something good is happening, that woman must appear he to must you. Show. Whether I want to make love or want eh? to. The woman must appear. Yes, sir. Now, moi, moi, the woman say, you eat my moi, moi, you didn't pay. Everywhere you go, I go, they follow you. Moi, moi. And the bro, no, I get the yoka. I get the beans. So tomorrow, when I'm rounding up the service, I'm going to tell the woman not to follow you again. Man. So when you give the money to that person, that person is not a normal human being. I don't want you to be afraid if I tell you he's not a human being. So the person and the woman, they will be beaten in the realms. Amen. Then you will go out of the matter. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Are you coming for the first time? Who did you come with? Huh? My friend. Bring your brother. Come with him. Those of you sitting here, make sure you maintain here tomorrow because I will start from you. I'll prophesy tomorrow. Come. Have you been, have you been counting? 22. I don't trust your counting. I've been counting, sir. The money will begin to come from this week. Amen. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So I clear the way. Power. You are together? Why is your father missing? Where is he? Huh? He's late. Ah, he's missing. That's what I'm saying now. Because this is your family. I enter. I cannot see your father. He died. Huh? Yes. But is that not a natural one? There is yes. something that they were fighting in the family yes. about. And yes. this is a land. Yes. They were fighting over a land. Yes. Do you know about it? He told me something. Your father told me. Know him he, he told you. Recently, Did you tell sir. me? Yes, sir. You didn't tell me. Oh, yes. It's your brother you told. Yes. Or you told any other person? Except him. Or probably he told you he came to tell me. I told, sir. <laughs> so the problem, Sunday, that land. Your father's brother is involved. Yes. In that land. Yes. His brother is involved. Yes. He said the that, same thing to yeah, me. Yeah, that was what he told me. He, he told me. So listen. So this is what the man said. He said, none of your mother's children, the boys especially, no one will progress. You have been going through battle, struggling yes. and struggling and struggling yes, yes. to break through, but no way. Yes. Come, let me help you. Come. Lie down there. Stand up. You will hear the death of the strong man. Amen. Come here. Jesus. Come here. Jesus. Are you his wife? Are you the Marian? You talk past your wife well, well. <laughs> Stand to close, let me see. So when you want to kiss, you bend down. Let me see how you normally kiss. You must bend down. 
Okay, you. When you want to kiss him, you must jump. How do you do it? There's a way you used to do it. Show me that way. Because maybe tomorrow is somebody that is sure that I will go and marry. So, so that I begin to learn. So show me. Show me. Hey, yeah. A baby boy has come. Amen. You know, there are things a prophet says to you, especially a prophet that stays with God, that carry presence. People don't know that there is a difference between gift, anointing and gifts. It's a different thing. But there is anointing and gift that carries presence. As a prophet, it's, a, it's, it's an anointing, it's a gift. But you can be a prophet and not carry his presence. You don't even understand what I'm saying. What does it mean to be a prophet that carries presence? Stand up, let me give you an example. Stand up, let me give you an example. And some of you are sitting down. It shall, it shall be well with you. It shall be well with you. Why are you your own problem? So like I was saying, the prophet that carries presence, that's the prophet that stays with God. Moses was a prophet. He didn't rely on his prophetic anointing. He became so used with the presence that every now and then he goes to his presence. That one time he came, the people said the presence is too much. They could not look at him. What's the meaning of presence? Okay, look at this. Ten of you. By the time we enter this new week, you have been struggling, but you are going to have strange break, financial break. Amen. And I want God to touch ten people as an example, that's the meaning of presence. Now, if I don't stay in his presence, if I say it, it will not happen. But I'm speaking by his presence and by what he asked me to do. Okay, lift up your right hand. I'm not going to pray. Let the glory of financial breakthrough as a sign touch 10 people here. Ten of them, and I want you to bring the ten of them out. I'm not praying, oh, I'm not praying. What the presence we do, please bring the ten of them, help them. Because it doesn't need to be everybody. I just said ten. This has nothing to do with gift. This has nothing to do with anointing. But how be it to maintain presence? There's so much price to pay. How many are they? One, two, three. Wait. Let me count this. Let me count. Let me do the counting. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now I trust your counting. All of you stand up. This week, receive strange financial help. Amen. 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 Amen. Receive strange financial help. Amen.
Thank you, Jesus. Because the, the deception is that a man with gift and anointing will always say, okay, I can always do anything with my gift and anointing. So your dependency is no longer on God. That was the problem of Samson. You hear what he said. He said, let me go and do as usual. Let me go and do as usual as at other times. That means he has mastered the gift. He has mastered the anointing. <laughs> but lost the presence. That's presence. Presence. So that's why, even if I say something to you by mistake, it will happen. Even if I'm driving car past you and you saw me on the way, you say, ah, the original prophet, I'll say, go and make money. When I say that, yes. it's what? Because this thing, if you don't be in his presence, you're wasting your time. It is better for me not to leave than not to carry his well. Where will I go without his presence? You get what I'm saying? Even as I'm speaking, cloud is going to come upon some of you here. You're going to receive strange help this week. Everybody that came for this service, you know, some of them thought, oh, it's for fruit of the womb people. You see the problem? They were sleeping at home. They have missed this. And I'm not extending it to them. See where you, have, where you traveled abroad. I see the Lord brought you to a table. And I saw something like a connection that has been cut off. I saw the Lord reconnecting you. Amen. And I see the Lord saying, what was lost before? I am bringing it speedily back to you. Amen. In seven fold. Amen. He said they will reach out to you from this week. Amen. This week, you are going to see some money. Amen. I prophesy to every one of you here. Amen. I see stars from heaven falling upon some of you here. Amen. I shall save them. bring me to your dream and give name because it's a, it's a sound of destiny. So you are not just going to name him, name him anyhow. Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. In Alo, I met Vigila. Huh? When they finish this VG? Yes, sir. Before you sleep? Okay, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. 
Before you sleep. Yes, sir. Before you sleep. Yes, sir. What do you mean, yes, sir? You don't know what I'm talking about. Yes, <laughs> Stand to your feet, everybody. Thank you, Jesus. What will you I'm do? I'm delivered. I know you are delivered. There's something you still need to do. Because this, the spirit has come. There's going to be confirmation. Everything you have been praying for, recover it now. Amen. Power will come upon you. As many of you, your power will touch you as a sign. Glory will touch you. Power will touch you. Seven of you, all shall go to help them from here. One, two, three. Help them, help them, help them. Everyone here, God said I should tell you. Your prayers are answered. Amen. I will prophesy to you tomorrow. Congratulations. Come. Jesse number 19. Yes, sir. Your favorite number? Yes, sir. Jesse number 19. You travel abroad. I see they welcome you. I see a white man. I see a white coach. Yes, sir. And there's somebody called Frederick you are going to meet in the team. Okay, sir. They give you jersey number 19. Thank you, sir. Go and play football. Make money. Body in it. I bless you. Pray against kidnappers. What did I say? Against kidnappers. Have you experienced it before? No, sir. Pray like somebody. It happened where you did not expect it. Okay, sir. It's cancelled. I I prophesy to you tomorrow. Is that okay? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's not okay. First timers. Uh, join the first timers. And make you second timers. Uh, I cancel it. Amen. In Jesus' name. your wife. Bring her. I want to give her something. Come. Don't join, don't join them to drag land. Okay, sir. There's a land they have been dragging. Yes, sir. Don't join them to drag it. Okay, sir. That thing has affected a lot of people. Yes, sir. That's that thing go they pull you back. Stagnation. Yes, sir. Don't get involved anymore. Okay, sir. God has exempted you from it. Amen. So that it will not affect you again. Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. Oh. What's the time, please? Two, two five. Huh? Two five. Four thirty. I said I would draw the microphone by five. Lift up your hands, all of you. Okay, let me prophesy to six people here. Okay, sir. As I'm commanded. Jesus. Um, come, sir. That lady, why are you wearing the same uniform? Are you twin? No, sir. So why are you wearing? You are not permitted to wear the same uniform if you are not twin. You are you from Brazil? No, sir. So who are you supporting in Brazil that you are wearing Brazil? My friend. Who is your friend? Chikunonso. Is in Brazil? Is he in Brazil? No, sir. So how is he? I don't understand. He's not Neyman. He's not Vinicius. No, sir. 
is not a Continue is not from Brazil now. Continue is from Bra it's not continue, it's not Casimiro. No, sir. Why are you looking at me? You think I don't have knowledge in other things? I don't understand. I have knowledge in sports more than many of you. Come. Come, sir. Why are you pushing him like that back? It's not fair. Come. Look at me. The idol that is fighting you is older than you. The idol fighting yeah, you is older than you. They used to worship idol yeah. in your father's house. Exactly. He's fighting you. Okay. That's why you're going through a lot of struggles, resistance, but nothing is working. This lady, come. Come here. Who did you come with? You remember what I told you? Yes, sir. Remember what I told you? Yes, sir. Do it. You are together? My younger brother brought you. Is your junior brother? Yeah. Are you senior? <laughs> yes, sir. He's senior you? Yeah, but three, please. Huh? Three. But he's senior you? Yes, sir. So what do you mean three? One lead, no, sorry. Two ladies here and one also. No, but he's your senior. Yeah, he's my senior brother. He's your senior bro? Yeah. He's sure your senior bro. Come. Come. There's something in your father's compound. If that thing is not dealt with, people will never manifest in glory. Look at what I mean. Prophetically speaking, if anybody who is genuinely a prophet sees you, your family, he will say they have greatness. Yes, sir. Exactly. But nobody's manifesting. Exactly, sir. Because of this, they prayed and prayed. Like I see people come to the family. A lot, a lot. Like family deliverance. A lot. After it, nothing is nothing delivered. Nothing is happening. It gets worse. Now, this is the mystery. Where you people live now in the village, like where the family compound is, yeah. that land, that was not where the family lived originally. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But when they go to this place, before they start building, there was a dispute over that very land yes. before they started building it. Yes. I see something projected. I see three days old baby banded to prepare the child. And this is what happened. Every time prayer people are coming into the family, nine minutes before they enter to the family, that thing will go. As soon as they finish praying, once they go, the team will come back. The battle becomes worse. Yes, sir. I need somebody to get sand from the compound in the I have, I have it at home. Oh, you have? It's at home, yes. You, you use the sand they cook. <laughs> <laughs> All right, break it. Tomorrow, I'm going to speak to the sand and I'm going to, I'm going to call the charm to come. You're going to see the charm in your dream, how he left and how it was destroyed. Amen. When that thing is done, your family will go forward. Amen. This is what is keeping the family. That's why people, people go to pray. Family deliverance, family deliverance, mm, too yet much, nothing too comes out of it. Today, aha, I break it. Amen. Back. Jesus. Go. There's a certain... Who was sitting here? Ah, you don't move from here, Konya. You say it's you. You are sitting here. That's how you've been sitting. So you move from one place to the other. Very powerful sitting arrangement. Come. Grace is coming upon you. Come. The Lord said, reproach is taken away from your Amen. life. Amen! Look at me. The question, why is it difficult for people to favor me? Why is it difficult for people to favor me? 
And why is it that they don't allow me to enter into my inheritance? The Lord showed me something. I see a mark on your forehead. Let me show you something. Follow me. You had an encounter in 2019. In that dream, the dream happened on February 2nd. In that dream, look at me. You were carrying something like a box. And that box is gold, gold, gold inside. You were going like a place to your father's house. A woman they married in the family appeared and took the thing from you. And most of the time, the woman used to come and fight you. Anytime you want to have breakthrough in life or somebody wants to help you, you wake up, most of the time, the dream will disappear. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It will disappear. Yes, sir. You won't remember the trace yes, of the dream anymore. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because they don't want you to know what to pray about. That is the mystery. What the woman took from you, I return it back to you. Amen. So monitor that your dream and this thing is restored. You begin to dream and you remember your dream. Amen. Come here. What I wanted to give her is a, a baby boy. Do you want it? Yes, sir. That's what the Lord said I should give her. That's what I asked you to Jesus. call her. Come here. This man, who owns that uncompleted building? My father. Your father is uh, the one yes. that owns it. I see you in that uncompleted building. But what baffled me is that I saw, you know, bees. Yes, sir. I saw bees surrounding everywhere. The Lord said that bees stings progress and drive away good things. Because it's a charm they buried in the family. The building has been there for a long time. For a long time, sir. For a long time. Yes, sir. As long as it's not completed, you people think it's a normal thing. Something is planted there that is affecting everybody. But God said today, that charm expired. Amen. Come here. I restore your family, your health, and your finances. Back. Come. Jesus. Come. Sir. Will you do what I ask you to do? Huh? You will do it. You will do it. Yes, sir. I want you to love your wife more than you have ever loved her. I will do that. Huh? I will do that. And when you wake up every morning, pray with her. Huh? And tell her, I love you so much. Okay, Papa. Do you normally do this? Not always. You will begin to do it always. The boy has come. Amen. Amen. The day your wife will deliver, she's not pregnant now. The day she will deliver, you are going to have an emergency to go and do something. You'll be on your way when they will call you that your wife has delivered. Amen. <laughs> His name is Chukwu Emeka. What a marvelous God. What a marvelous God. So what you say you what you say make gonna do after closing? Yes, I understand now. Sir. What you be that? What you understand? I, I know what to do. Sir. I, I don't know. I don't mean me too. I don't even know what I was saying. I'm saying sir. I, okay, you mean I should, you, you should do what? They do. They do. I don't know what is to do. Do it. Congratulations. What a marvelous God, what a marvelous God, he's a marvelous teacher. You are being disturbed by a faceless spirit you don't get to see. The spirit will encounter you. Look at me. This is very serious. From when you were three years old, they programmed this spirit against you. You have so much greatness. This is why they are fighting. There's a spirit that appears to you like someone comes to do something with you in the dream but you don't even see the face of the person. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. From age of three. Yes. You want him to go? Yes, sir. You're going to come into settlement. Amen. Amen. Do you know any player Amen. in Brazil? Do you know any player in Brazil? No, sir. Whether past or present player, any player? No, sir. 
I want you to mention three players in Brazil. I'm going to bless you. Ronaldo. Which Ronaldo? Christian Ronaldo. Christian Ronaldo one. Christian Ronaldo one. Uh -huh. Vicente Yama two. Ucho Kechuku three. I haven't told you even past and present. Ronaldo is not Cristiano. If you had said Ronaldo de Lima, if you have said Cafu, if you have said Bebeto, Romario, come. Let her go. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Arouse her no more. Let our destiny manifest. Power. Your friend is the one that owns this jersey. Huh? Yes, sir. Who is it to you? He's my friend. Your... Say it where now. He's my very good friend. Your very... <laughs> So is there friends that are very bad friends? Chuku Yes, sir. Chuku Yes, sir. Where is he? He's here, sir. Chuku Nonso. He said you are a very good friend. Yes, sir. You love her. I love her. You love her. Yes, sir. So that means... You are praying. You are praying. Stop praying. <laughs> the prayer has been answered. <laughs> Amen. Can't you see she has adopted your name already? <laughs> huh? Yes, sir. You like Brazil, eh? And I, I like Brazil. He's even wearing your name. I'm the one that gave her. That's what I'm saying now. Chuku. Oh, so. You love him, Abby? Yes, sir. You want him to marry you, Abby? You yes. Are not sure. Let the Lord do it. <laughs> you know, between the two of you, if you make up your mind, come to me. Power. Stand to your feet, everybody. Look at me. All the women and the men, did you get the prophetic pack? So tomorrow I will begin from you before I begin to prophesy. Is that okay? But sit down. I see something. Everybody sit down. All the women, stand up. Believing God for miracle babies, stand up. Stand to your feet, all the women. You know what God said to me? He said, tell them I've answered their prayers. Tomorrow we are going to carry out this instruction and I'm, there's a mantle I'll be praying on. The Lord showed me something on that mantle and I see the Lord. I've been breathing on it each time I go to my altar to pray, especially at midnight. He said, you are going to lay it. When they, when they breathe on that, thing, I saw names of different babies come into it. He said, tomorrow I should use that mantle to touch the womb of every woman. That came for this program. He said, after it, when you go, your womb will have prophetic, prophetic miracle babies. It will come to pass. Even if you don't say amen, it's no problem. It will happen. Place your right hand. By this time next year, if you are not yet a mother, I make you a mother. In the name of Jesus Christ. If you are not yet a father and you are married, get ready for your naming ceremony. Yeah. You will be a father. Yeah. Father, I came here, I wanted to do the other thing you asked me to do. You reminded me of them. And sometimes they don't even know. When I'm saying what you say to me, they are saying, Amen, Amen. It's not fair. It's not fair. But Lord,
14 of them from April will be pregnant. It's true. It's true. It's a sign. Because I saw this angel carried an oil. They wrote, they wrote April manifestation. Okay, watch this. That angel of his presence that carried the oil touching those women. I want you to touch 14 of them. And those 14 of them, I'm also going to confirm it here on the altar. I'm not going to pray. Just touch them so that they will know you are the one speaking to me. Bring them, bring them, 14 of them. She going by herself. You deserve it all glory. So David, how many are there? Eighteen, Papa. All right, stand up. Oh, Lamb of God, you are all. Wait, you know, you know what Elijah did? He knew who sent him. He said, if I be a man of God, let fire fall. So I said, if the Lord is the one that is speaking to me, let the angel of his presence touch the 14 of them. Now, I want to say this. If I be a man of God, you are. You don't need to tell me I am. If my father tell me I'm your father, I will not tell him you are. I know he's my father, man. Alright? Yeah, but I understand you because you know I am. I stretch my hands towards you. From 11 a.m. on Monday, you will receive the death of some witches. Amen. April. 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 April for their manifestation. Three of them in April that will be pregnant we have twins. Stand up everybody. Thank you Jesus. Congratulations. I will hear your testimonies. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. There are six of you that came with very strange sickness, afflictions 
It's been in your body for a long time, but it's not going. Right now, to the root of that sickness is uprooted. I saw it uprooting, uprooting. The angel of that assignment touch those six people with instant healing. By the power and the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Oh, she has helped them. There are six of them. They came with some strange sickness. They are going to receive instant healing. Six of them. to the root of it thank you uproot it and let it be the end of the affliction and accompany it with instant healing yeah there are six of them mm -hmm. touch the the other one, thank you for what you are doing. Yes, it's been uprooted, and as they are uprooted, the healing takes place, manifestation. Six of them carry them. They've been carrying this affliction for a long time. Six of them. Please, I, I want them here. Bring them here. Six of them. One, two, uproot it. With instant healing, with instant healing, with instant healing. If there be anyone here with any kind of sickness this morning mark the end of that sickness Amen Please let me warn you make sure you testify and don't keep it that is how many of you lose your healing and lose your deliverance and lose what God has done. Tell them stand. Let them come to us here. Who is with the microphone? Beginning from her. Uh, you are sick. You are sick. You are sick? Yes, Daddy. How long? Since when I was a child. Is when you were small. Yes. So the sickness has been in your body for how many years? Daddy. I did not see that because I was tired. I'm not tired. I'm only demonstrating to you that I carry his presence so whether i see them whether i lie down whether i i and i need them the glory will move since you were small yes daddy so it's been like how many years now since when i was 15 years you know so so like how many years do you think it is now 35 years now you come out of it You see, you, you have an affliction. You have an attack. 
all of you. It's the only thing I will say to you. Make sure you testify tomorrow. Okay? Make sure if some of you will testify tomorrow, some of you will testify on past Sunday. Father, thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. completely now in the name of Jesus. Your time is up. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Come out and enter no more. from her and enter no more. Be healed. Jesus. Be healed. Oh. 
Spirit, thank you for our healing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Out and enter no more. Amen. Be healed. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. back on the ground. Your healing is confirmed now. Amen. Thank you Holy Spirit. Thank you Holy Spirit. With your back on the ground, your healing is confirmed. You're gone. Come here. How long has this been? What happened? Infection. What? That's what they told you in the hospital? Yes. What did they say the infection is? Vagina infection. Vagina infection? Come here. How old are you? 12 this year. You are 12 this year. Afflict her no more. Amen. Out now. Amen. And come back no more. Amen. Jesus. Be healed. Amen. Go from her. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Afflict him no more. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Power. Stand up. Open your hand. This is the word that just came to me from the Lord. Open your hand. He said, The curse over the works of your hand is broken. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. This is what I heard. The curse over the works of your hand is broken. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. The curse over the works of your hand is broken. Yeah. You will make strange monies. He said, I've broken the cause and I've anointed your hands that whatever they do from today will prosper like never before. 
In the name of Jesus. Amen. I'll show you one more secret. I will drop the microphone there. It's already seven minutes after five, according to that time. You see, most of the time, as soon as I begin to minister, my, 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 it doesn't matter the watch I wear, it will stop working. You know why? It's not working, but when I get to the office now, it will begin to work. Lift up your hands. When I was coming, it was working. It always happened like that. You will make strange money this season. Take something very serious, a serious sacrifice in your hand. Look at me when you bring it. Uh, Pastor, can I have? Can I have some? Willie, really, really, you don't have. Where's your own? Ilinko. Ilinko Melengwe. Ili Kakoya. Uh, you, you, get, you get the one you go use. So. This is your suit like the manager of Nigeria Brewery. See? Take it up. Say the works of my hands are blessed. The wow. works of my hands are blessed. I will command money. I will command money. The instructions of God sometimes it doesn't make sense. Do it. Money. Come. Bring it to the altar. You are good. You are not just big. You are not just large. You are a great God. You are God. You are God. Oh, you are not just just like you, you are, are not just God, God. Yeah. you are a great God. Say you are God, oh, oh, you are not just people, you are not just, you are not just like you, yeah, you are a great God. Say you are big, you are big, 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 big. you are Under the canopy, give me security. I 
Lift up your hand. I'm just going to pray for those for shortly so they can. I don't know the Lord. I don't know why the Lord is mentioning this to me again. Earlier, the Lord mentioned a name to me. Maria. Idehen or something. I don't know why the Lord is mentioning it to me again. Hold on. Is that you? What's your name? Okay, but I use the name to, um, what is your is that your name? Yes or no? It's my name, uh -huh. sir. So what happened? Why didn't you come? I was coming before, so they uh, drove me back. Who drove you back? The my protocol. You know, listen, listen. I want to address something very quickly. You know, you know the anger of Jonah. You know, prophets, by the reason of their calling, they have some kind of pride when it comes to their calling. The, a prophet does not want to say something that God told him and not see it happen. He can, he can, he can be suicidal. So that's why prophets stay in God's presence. When I said that, it will look like you just say what you like. And I said, God, was it that? The, what happened? He said the person is here. That's why I'm mentioning it again. Now, imagine a protocol or usher, someone that God spoke about. You're driving the person away. Is it that you are in collaboration with the kingdom of darkness to make me a false prophet or a fake prophet? Are you getting what I'm saying? Which, which of the protocol? Which one? Why is the protocol that drove this woman? I have because all of them saw him when he was pushing me back. Where is the protocol? That is the one. Why? I saw the name that he called is different from the one you called. He said listen, he listen, you. listen. Let me tell you something. My father's brother, my father, my uncle, that is late, that died some maybe four, five years ago. He and my father, is my uncle, he and my father, they are the same mother, the same father. And my father is their last born. He died at about 100 plus. Now, look at this. We bear Okafo. They are bearing Azubike. And yet, he's supposed to be the same surname. You know why? Now, this one is bearing their father's name direct. While the other one is bearing your grandfather's name. So the day you hear somebody say Azubike and I came out, you don't have rights. The person knows her name. You don't drive them back. That's why discernment must be involved so that you don't become a problem. You see, if something was fighting, but, but thank God the Spirit of the Lord still located her. Now, can you imagine that God wants to deliver, God wants to deliver her and then you are the one that is blocking her from being delivered. So please, you guys, to do better and much more due diligence. Next time, today I'm not angry. If it's the day I'm, if it's the day I'm angry, we'll meet somewhere and we'll talk behind this. <laughs> I'm seeing a woman also saying, thank you, Lord, your servant is here. I'm seeing a woman saying, my name also is Mary, Maria. Maria. I heard something like Egede. Or Egede. I heard something like that. Who is that person? Is that you? Yes, sir. Come. 
are your clothes? Bulldog monster block. Why do you wear that kind of shirt with such inscription? You know what will happen, woman? My time is up. Yes, sir. But I, God, I was angry. I said, God, what did you say? What did you reveal to me? Something that he said, no, your people. But tomorrow I'll, I'll begin from you. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. I hereby I join this prophetic case in this honorable prophetic court to tomorrow Sunday. God bless you. Bring them, let me pray for them. One thing we ask of you. Da, 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 da. What we desire. And as we worship you, Lord, come, Lord, come and take my life. Everybody say, Arise, 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 take your place. Be and joy of our praise arise. King of kings, holy God, we come as we sing. Arise, 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 oh, arise, arise. Hey, one thing. Everybody sing as we worship you. Lord, come, Lord, come and change our lives.
can deny you are God? Who 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 can deny you are God?
Who is disturbing you? You are disturbing me. You are disturbing me. Me? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I need to rest. Leave me alone. You want to rest? Yes, let me rest. I'm not done with her. Who are you? I'm not done with her. Who are you? I'm not done with her. Wait, who are you? Who are you? What do you still want to do? I will frustrate her life. I will frustrate her life. I will make her, I will make her life miserable. Okay, frustrate miserable. It's English. What else? What else? Oh, stop asking me that question. Nah. Huh. Did she offend you? Did she offend you? Huh? Ah, people should leave me alone now. Huh? You will not go to the coven again. I kill you. Or you go to go and sleep. In Jesus' name, sleep now. Sleep there. I will come back to you if I have chance. Leave her. Leave her. Leave there. Sleep. In Jesus' name, sleep now. Shh. Sleep there. Sleep. 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 Sleep, I will wake you up. There's no one like Jehovah. 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 And these are the days of Elijah. Come on, come on. Declaring the words of the Lord. These are the days of his servant. Because his righteousness will be restored. mission what's your mission speak up what do you want from her what's your mission here come on what do you want from her
Leave her, leave her. The weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal. So leave her. If she can go, let her go. Leave her now. Leave her. Somebody say mission aborted. Every mission of the enemy concerning your life is aborted. Amen. Go if you have power. Thank you, Jesus, for our deliverance. Amen. Don't follow her again. Do you hear me? As you go, return no more. In the mighty name of Jesus, Christ of Nazareth. Amen. That is arrogant of you not to clap for Jesus. <laughs> or maybe, maybe you can come and take microphone. Let me see that. Come and do it. It's not me. First Samuel twelve six. He said it is the Lord that advanced Moses and Aaron. Go. And follow her no more. And break your covenant right. You follow, follow spirit. Shh. Get out. Quickly. You have three seconds to go. One. Two. Three. Return back no more. Yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, amen. Oh, yeah. I'm trading my soul. I'm trading my faith. I'm laying the ground for the glory of the Lord. Yeah. I'm trading my seed. I'm trading, I'm trading. denies you of it. Wake up. In Jesus' name, wake up now.
to come here look at me look at me look look here look here look here look here look here what do you want from her what do you want from this young girl hmm? what do you want from her Destroyer. She has a great destiny. Shut up. It's the same old story. You just said it before. Fuck another one. Did she offend you? No. So why do you want her destroyed? I don't want her to stay. Hmm? With her family. Who are you to this young girl? Nobody. Huh? I'm nobody. You are nobody. Yes. You are just from a village. You are from a village. Yes. It's a useless spirit. Yes. You are a bastard. Bastard demon. I can at least I can insult demon bastard now. Uh -huh. Come on, get out and never follow her again. Nonsense. Thank you, Jesus, for our deliverance. Are you ready to go now? Are you ready to go? 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 You just they do gra gra. Nobody say you go get power. You not go feel do anything. No. Just they do initial gra gra. What can you do to me? Can you get me? What can anybody do? I am I am beyond demonic destruction. It's true. It's true. Beyond human destruction. It's true. So what can you do to me? Hmm? Listen. Look at me. I'm warning you. Don't follow her again. You will let her be. You hear me? Did you hear me? Which one is easier? Huh? I will not leave her. You will not? I will not leave her. You are lying now. You don't already leave and finish. They will leave her. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm not. I'm telling you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm not negotiating now. See, look at me. Look at me. Look here. If a rich man, a billionaire tells you, um, I will buy you a mot I will buy you a car. He can do it. Huh? So where you can have problem or doubt is if a poor man says, I will buy you a car. So if I tell you the, this spirit will go, it will go. So it's, it depends on when I decide. And so why you don't keep quiet? Listen. 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 Now hear this one. This week, many of you shall become millionaire for the first time. Amen. And in April, Three of you shall become billionaires for the first time. Yeah. It's not a prayer. Listen, if I sign a check, for example, I sign a check of one million, that check don't need prayer to be cleared. Yes, so, when I say this, I am richer in the spirit than the physical. Yeah. 
Yes, sir. No doubt. So when I say, okay, man. Uh, this is Floyd Mayweather now. No, Anthony Joshua, not Floyd. Anthony Joshua is my, my son, not Floyd Mayweather. Too much money will come. Amen. Yeah. Come. come. Learn how to celebrate. God has done it. Amen. Amen. Congratulations. The Amen. glory for money Amen. has returned back to you. Congratulations. You know, when people import different containers, I see lorries, lorries, like trucks. Loading, 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 loading. 15, 20. Amen. <laughs> it's not prayer. Yeah. What did happen? Come. Oh. Be very careful. You are close to a season, but they will pull you out of that season. Be very careful. There is somebody holding your hand. I'm pulling you like this, pulling you, pulling you. Be careful. Be careful. You're going to see what I'm telling you from this week. Amen. Amen. The person has already come. Huh? Be careful. But that deal, there is a deal that you were supposed to receive money in February. Yes. It did not come. March. Last week. This week. Next week. This week. It will not come. Huh? The major one didn't come. On Wednesday and Thursday and Friday, I release something to come. Amen. There shall be performance. Amen. Wait, what did you say? You said you will not let her go. Huh? What you do like Eddie Aban, Eddie, Eddie. You know Eddie? Eddie. Eddie Abali. When did they sleep? He's an animal. <laughs> Eddie can be sleeping. And Eddie will be snoring. You go there and carry Eddie. Eddie will still be sleeping. Don't they make Eddie Abali? <laughs> you know Eddie? No, sir. I've not heard it before. <laughs> so, you say you don't want to let her go? Huh? Eh? Is that what you said? Hmm? Come on, stop that. Speak up. You say you don't want to let her go? Huh? Eh? She's yours. How? How is she yours? Speak up. She's mine. Huh? She's mine. Speak up. You are hearing me. Speak out. She's, mine. She's yours. Who gave her to you? Who gave her to you? You want to fight me? Can you? Leave her. Do you? Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Fight. <laughs> leave her. Fight. <laughs> Wait. Is that all you can do? No, 
no, leave her, leave her. Is that all you can do? Huh? I don't respect you. No, dear. don't you ever respect me. I don't respect you, dear. Huh? Why are you respecting me? Why are you respecting me? This is battle now, so you don't need to respect your enemy. I'm your enemy. Huh? Stay away from this. I should stay away. I should stay away. Tell me now, should I stay away? Stay away from this. And what will happen if I don't stay away? Chris Okafor is my name. I am anointed. I, I carry the presence of God to do this. What will happen if I don't stay away? Tell me. Bana Barago. What will happen? Huh? She's mine. Huh? She's mine. She's yours. Come here. What do you want from her? Huh? She's mine. I I know. What do you want from her? What do you want from her? Glory. Huh? Her glory. You want her glory? Yes. Pick up, don't waste my time. When I'm talking, you answer me. But I want her glory. What for? Why do you why you why are you interested in her glory? Why? Leave her, leave her, leave her. Wait, leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. What can you do? Hmm? I'm just using you to do caricature. When I'm ready to cast you out, I'll cast you out. That's all. What can you do? Is your wife? Yeah? Your sister? Yeah. The same mother? Yeah. The same father? Your time has come. You know him? You know this man? You know him? Yes. Eh? Yes, I do. Who is he? It's my brother. Your brother? You say you want to fight me? Eh? You said you will not let her glory. You will not let her go. Look at me. I said she's going nowhere. She's going nowhere? I said she's going nowhere. Who are you? Who do you think I am? Don't waste my time. Come on. Don't reply me question for question. Who are you to her? Who are you to this lady? Who are you? Speak out. Who are you to her? Speak out before I cast you out. Who are you to her? You say you don't want to let her go. She belongs to you. Huh? Yes. Does, does her brother belong to you? Her brother belongs to you also? Yes. The brother? The brother also belongs to you? Yes. Okay, who gave them to you? Who gave them to you? Speak up, don't waste my time. Who gave them to you? You said they belong to you. Who gave them to you? All these questions. Where are they? Listen to me. Come on, stop that. Who gave them to you? Fire in your mouth. The mighty name of Jesus. Who gave them to you? Who gave them to you? They were dedicated to you. Yes. Huh? Yes. Who dedicated them to you? Our forefathers. You are a local idol. As the idol, what is your name? What do they call you? What do they call you? Come. What do you have to say? Do you know about this idol? Um, I've been told that um, it was worshipped by my forefathers. Yeah. It was worshipped yeah. by your forefathers. Yes. Sir. Do you now realize that this has done so much harm and damage to your family? Yes. The big problem. No one goes forward. No. Because of this. Okay. Um, how long have you been in this family? Yes. Huh? Four hundred years. Four hundred years. That's about two generations, hundred years. So who brought you? You said your forefathers brought you. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yes. Okay, what have you done to this lady in particular? What have you done to her? What have you done to her? 
Pick up. Don't waste my time. What have you done to her? To destroy her. You want to destroy her? What have you done to her marriage? She can't marry. <laughs> 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 she will marry. She will marry. Okay, now your time is up. That's the difference. Father, thank you for your deliverance. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I travel to generations ago into 100 years. The day this family came to you through their forefathers where they were dedicated that all of them belongs to you. I manifest into that day by the help of the Holy Spirit stepping out of eternity into wombs of times. I cancel, cancel. Colossians 2.15 he said he blotted out he blotted out all the handwriting, written ordinances, and spoken ordinances. Ordinances of blood. I hereby cancel, cancel. Amen. By the finished work of Jesus on the cross of Calvary, I cancel, cancel. Amen. I remove their name Amen. from your register in your altar. Amen. Having said that, by the legal blood of Jesus that speak better things, I revoke your power of ownership. Amen. I revoke your powers of attorney. Amen. Let all of them go. Amen. You, are, you, you want to know the man? You didn't know the, you didn't know the man before. Why are you? Why are you? Now that your right of access and attorney and power of ownership is being revoked, you know what the oh, law geez. says. You don't have right anymore. Ah. So get out. Let them be. Thank you, Jesus, for our deliverance. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are defeated. Amen. Yeah. Power. You deserve the glory and the honor as we lift hands in worship, as we bless your holy name. You deserve the glory and the honor, oh Lord, as we in worship I will bless your holy name for you
Thank you, Jesus. You can't pick what I'm saying. Members are picking it. You cannot pick it. The end. May your kingdom be established in our praise. As your people, we declare your mighty love. continually be in our mouth lift up your beautiful hands and say thank you Jesus amen where are you taking her to you want her to rest though it can only be God I am so that to God for a reason and this is the reason oh Lord my God Has entered your hand. Anything you have been looking for, it is found now. And the one whose amen will be loudest. By 12:47 p.m. today, noon you will receive a breaking news miracle. Yeah. 
in the name of Jesus I stretch forth my hand but not my hand the hand of God by the rod of my mandates by the higher priesthood ministry where I operate from I stretch it towards you and I declare over you I declare over you what is due for you enter your hand I stretch it over you every woman Every, all the women that came for the harvest of babies next year by this time you will bring forth your miracle babies in the name of Jesus Christ you will never from today have a better yesterday succeed make progress listen to me you are going to dance but this dance will come as a result of the news you will receive I'm a prophet. Yes. I don't tell story. I believe in practical. Story is inevitable in the absence of power. Where there is no power, there will be excuse. You know, God can do this way, that way. There is the grace called favor. The Bible said they did not go empty because the favor of God was upon them. There is a grace called favor that makes it impossible for people not to go empty. You are living here with that grace. Everyone in position to favor you that have not done so by that grace I put them to your direction you know what I heard now the month of April will be the month of strange favor When is 1st April? On Monday? So tomorrow, everyone get oil. I want to anoint you for April, the month of strange favor. Before I do that, I'm your prophet. I want to take a prophet offering. But if you are not there, don't come. I need 500 of you. Take a prophet offering. 500 of you. It could be 10, 20, 50,000. It could be 5,000. I need 500 of you come forward. I want to rest the grace called favor on you. Take it, come forward. 500 of you. Take it. Come forward. The Lord has done it. If you are led, come fast. If you are not led, don't come. Please, if you are not led, don't come. If you are led, you understand what God is saying to me as a prophet. Take it and come forward. Come forward. The Lord has done it finally, oh, finally, finally. The Lord has done it finally, finally, finally. The Lord has done it. Lift it up. Some of you say, I, I don't have that. I have 3,000, I have 2,000. I am led. I want to join. Take it, come forward. Even some of you, I see you say, I have 1,000. Can I join? Take it, come forward. Lift it up. Lift it up. 
all the prayers you have prayed and everything God has released to everyone, you will see the results. Take it up. Lift it up. Lift it up. I see some of you say, I have a thousand, I have a five hundred. Take it, come forward. Even if you don't have, stand up, stretch your hands towards this altar. I prophesy. Because you came, let the grace rest upon you now. Everything and everyone in position to favor you, I draw them to you. April will favor you. And I connect everyone, including those watching, with the same grace. Let it speak for you. I will hear your testimony. Thank you, Jesus. Drop it, go back. The Lord has done it. Finally, finally, finally. The Lord has done it. Finally, finally, finally. on your head the Lord go with you yeah. bow down your head stand to your feet but before I release this blessing upon you and this prophetic and priestly blessing if you know that you are believing God for a testimony between now and 24 hours when you get home, say, Lord, I manifest in the grace of your servant. Anoint yourself, sleep and go to bed. When you wake up or you come tomorrow, let us know what God has done. The Lord go with you. I will see you tomorrow. Mighty testimonies great exploits. I take a divine comprehensive insurance of the shed blood of Jesus over you. You're going out and you're coming in. In the name of Jesus, come back tomorrow with testimonies. Lift up your hands before we go. If, to, if this night, VG, is your first time worshiping with us, take your bag, come forward. I want to pray for you. Take your bag, come forward. Take your bag, please come forward. This is your praise nation. Choosing generation of people of love. We are this good royal priesthood. of the citizens of Grace Nation, also known as Liberation City, will say a big welcome to you in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that as you go, your testimonies begin to manifest. Amen. What you have experienced today, that same grace begins to work in your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Once again, you are welcome. Uh, here, our supreme task is so winning. 
getting people ready for the second coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Also here, God is still speaking. God is still saying something. God is still delivering his people. And God is still prospering, blessing his people and instructing his people to live right. And also here, we stand for one another. We love one another. We stand for one another in every way. I pray for you. You come back with testimony. Uh, make sure you are here tomorrow, every one of you. And then you will be addressed again. And we will give you an appointment. How? I want to meet with all of you one on one. Because there is a word of the Lord concerning you. Your life will not remain the same. In Jesus' mighty name. So see you tomorrow. I want to see you here. Please, they are, they are waiting to welcome you specially. Please just go that way. Thank you. Hallelujah. Put your two hands over your head. The Lord go with you. The Lord preserve you. The Lord make you great. Your efforts will, will, will manifest in the name of Jesus. Let's share the grace. May the grace of our Lord, the love of God, and the Savior, be an above. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we shall dwell in the eyes of God forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Go and rest in His grace. I'll see you tomorrow. I love you all.